Oh, yeah, there you go. You guys want to play Genshin? Let's go! She's actually a mother. Jing Liu is power creeping. How? They're not even the same element. In what world? Nah, Kafka is mother. True. Jing Liu, who, Jing Liu has like big sister vibes, you know? At least that's the way I see it. And does it have anything to do with Monarch? Probably. <laughs> but that's just me. But yeah, Kafka has it. Dude, I really like the personality of um, Gwenyphon. Like, she just seems uh, super chipper and cool. Also, YouTuber. All right. What did we do? Guide. Thank you. Yeah, my cousin's been uh, playing the Genshin for me. I actually don't know what he's done. I know that he was in the middle of doing a quest. I'm assuming he was collecting stuff for... I told him to start by building the Sumeru crew. So, I can't remember if I had Candace at 70 and, and Kale at 70. But he was telling me he was starting to level up the Sumeru people. And uh, it seems like he leveled up Kave? I think? Or maybe I had Kave at 40. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I told him to start leveling them up. Very proud of Monarch. She did a very good job. No, Monarch did a great job. All right, so last time we left off, we were investigating the uh, the Tower of Hemiropede. And uh, now uh, we uh, we got to do some more investigating before we see Lenny. So, hey, you over there? Hey, you over there. What's up, Bavaliers? Who, me? Couldn't be. Then who? Kave should be 90. I agree. I haven't had time, which is why I hired my cousin to start grinding for me. Yeah, you. Say, do you like playing card <gasps> games? TCG? Like Genius Invocation TCG? Wow. They like They like card games in prison, mister? Even people down here play that game? You TCG players are like mint in the wild, literally sprouting up everywhere. Look, I'm telling you, Hoyo, if you want Genius Invocation TCG to do really really well just make it a physical game also i just increased the game volume don't worry hey come on is that better what's wrong with finding fellow invocation aficionados anyway care to join me for a game no thanks we're busy with other things at the moment but next time it'll be time to throw down dude yeah the card art alone would be insane there have been a lot of fans that have given me like TCG cards like in in real life and they're really cool but I I would like official ones where it's like maybe in the front it's the art and then in the back it's all the abilities and stuff. Uh, all right. No all right, pressure. no pressure. Under pressure. But why would you be looking for people to play Genius Invocation in a place like this? Don't people usually come here to fight? <laughs> Whether you're throwing down cards or throwing punches, it's all a competition, isn't it? It's all the same in my eyes. There are lots of card players here in the fortress. When I saw you, I immediately thought, hey, even outsiders from other nations play cards. So I came over to say hi. Great. Would you mind chatting with us for a moment? Sure. Great. Since you've been here longer than us, you need to flex your seniority a little bit, right? Maybe you could start by telling us newcomers some stories about this place. Hmm. I thought you would have already heard everything by now. All right, then. Did you have anything specific in mind? Or do you want me to just pick a topic? Oh, wouldn't the opponent Why don't you know your cards? Oh, you know well, no, 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 no. That's not what I mean. I mean for your actual, like, your character cards. Like, whether you pick, like, Sino, Tainari, like, that kind of thing. That's what I'm referring to. Uh, also, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. All right. Have you heard any strange rumors since you've arrived? Uh, the secret rules. Then did you know that there are some people who are always gossiping over in the corner? Um, no. There are two guys who are always skulking around in the corners of corridors gossiping. The bigger guy is Quisto, and the skinny one is Lavarune. 
People call them the bombshell bros. The bombshell bros. They really found their gossip very mind blowing. And it's pretty much just the same. No, I haven't I seen the people that try to working. make the game if playable IRL. You can go talk with them. They tend to talk a lot of nonsense, but they aren't exactly bad. Hmm. hmm. Good to know. Do you have anything else to tell us? Hmm. Let me think. Sounds like you want to hear something a little more tantalizing. Oh, did you know that the Duke was also a convict in the fortress of huh? before? I didn't, actually. Hmm. 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 Well, well, water in a well. Old Riosli seems to be breaking the law himself. Huh? Wait, are you serious? That's right. Robin Tactician, thank you for the sub. Like you and me. Baby with the sub. Seems he was exiled here for committing you some yourself. crime. See why you thank you for the sub. Up to become the warden, though. See, John is bad at his job. That's why he was late. Uh, was an inmate just like you and me. It seems he was exiled here for committing some crime. Who knows how he ended up rising up to become the warden, though. To go from an ordinary inmate to becoming the manager of the whole place? I'm not gonna lie. I kind of respect that. I think the Nouvelle Banner has, like, another week. A forbidden zone? Hmm. Sounds like something that someone just made up. I've never heard of that. Where did you hear about it? It's just a rumor. I heard it from people. But no worries if you've never heard of it. Do you have anything else you can tell us? Anything else? Hmm. Not that I can think of. But I'll be sure to tell you anything interesting I hear next time. You'll have to play a game of Genius Invocation with me first, though. Yeah. I will destroy you. Let's keep exploring. Yeah, I will say Fontaine probably has some of my favorite music. Hydrate? I suppose. Hmm. You got a pull while studying for your midterms? Oh my god, yeah, midterms aren't coming up, huh? I didn't think about that. Because they happen, uh, in what? Like, November? Midterms. Midterms! Look, there are some people talking over there. Yours is this week? Never mind. I don't know anything. Seize get degrees if you're a college kid. If you ask me, those pompous parasites on the surface act like they're all a bunch of aristocrats. Do any of them give half a hoot about a bunch of dogs like us? <laughs> no, they don't, because they're a couple of aristocats. Why would they care about dogs? Haven't you heard the song? Everybody wants to be a Hey, speak for yourself, mate. I'm no dog. He's an aristocrat. He goes, meow, 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 meow. <laughs> Oh, you think you're special or something? If you're here, then you're just a convict like the rest of us. I've heard that even if you're released after serving your sentence, going back to life on the surface ain't any better. Once a criminal, always a criminal. Damn, that's crazy. Life. Wow. Uh, I don't buy that. Yeah, in the future we'll do a cool Sumeru collab. The whole world was destroyed by a giant flood and everyone had to start over from nothing. Wow. What kind of filthy bilge water are you spewing? I have family up there. You best shut your sewer hole with talk like that. Whoa, whoa, Listen, whoa. Things ain't so great on the surface, but who says that you have to leave? I've heard that you can still stay here and work even after you've served your sentence. Not bad if you ask me. Huh. Who wants to live in the ruddy overworld anyway? <laughs> this guy has way too much energy. And what makes you think they'd want to hire someone like you? <laughs> it's one of the great mysteries of the universe, how someone as useless as you is so confident. Hey! Whoa. Sounds like they're really unhappy about the overworld. <gasps> unhappy. Unhappy. Which, Paimon never heard anyone use the words overworld or underworld when we were living up there. I think you're right. Is that only something the inmates down here say? Yeah, because they look at us. The daily sub counter isn't on screen. Oh, my bad. Here, let me fix that for you, Kaiba. Let me fix that for you, Kaiba. Hold on. All right, there you go. It's normal for convicts to be unhappy. That's true.
All right, anyway. What are we doing? All right, investigating. Can you guys see it? Can you guys see it? Perfect. All right, cool. There's a group of people over there. Let's go listen in. All right, I'll fix it. So I said, that's not a faucet. Hey, hey, who are you two? Why'd you come over all of a sudden? Are you the bomb bros? Oh, uh, sorry for eating. Hey, let's go, Simba. Proud Sounds of you. like you were talking about something private. <laughs> uh, what's the matter? <laughs> They're just looking to join in on our fun, that's all. Why are people in Fontaine, New Yorkers? I thought this was supposed to be France, the city of romance. Uh, instead, it's it's just a bunch of mafiosos. Hey, what's the matter, eh? Bacon, egg, and cheese! Bacon, egg, and cheese! Hey, don't pretend like it's okay for them to just interrupt us like that. <sighs> Fine. You're lucky we don't mind extroverts that much. Yeah, because we're introverted. Hey, bacon, egg, and cheese. <laughs> you hear that, Quisto? What nice. Quisto? What's his other name? Quisson? Hear some juicy info, am I right? Hey, I heard juicy. I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> it just so happens that I know you two. Really? Are we that famous? Yeah, you're the chumps you that are gonna... How often does anyone get a personal tour led by his grace himself? What if they came from New York to Fontaine? Fair it. enough. Word has Fair it. enough. That you also caused quite the kerfuffle. Kerfuffle? I didn't know any mafioso types like yourself use the word kerfuffle. What type of kerfuffle are you kerfuffling about, kerfuffle? A uh, little mistake, huh? I like the way you put it. Oh, you a little see, mistake, huh? People with a good huh? attitude can join our group anytime. Unlike some of the others here. What's your name? Your group? I'm Cuisto, and this is Labaroon. People usually call us the Bombshell Bros. The Bombshell Bros. We're not bros. playing bombs or anything. It's just that our information is always so explosive. Also, Labaroon? More like Croissant and Maroon. Am I right? Snaps. Snaps, chat. Snaps. So... You two really like to gossip? You should Hola, ¿cómo estás? It's Van Isavana no, no, Bobo. Get it. Knowing intelligence will make things better for you here. For example, knowing who's working with whom, who has the latest rumors, who's not getting along. Wouldn't you like to know all that? Hey, look at this guy using whom when he knows how to use it. Instead of with who, he used with whom. Oh! <laughs> I, I I love doing the New York type thing. Sure, fill us in. Oh my Archon, I'd love to know. Please tell me, indulge me, why don't you? Whoa, all this info's worth something, you know? You should prove you're worthy of it. Okay, I what do I gotta do, him. Bob the we Builder? Always this way. Just play nice and say something to massage his ego. The welfare meals. Talk about the welfare meals. We ate the most incredible welfare meal recently. You won't even believe. Right, right. That meal we had yesterday was super delicious. Pinon can still taste it whenever she closes her eyes. It was a delicacy you wouldn't so? even believe. To tell you the truth, I've been helping out with making those welfare meals. I've been working as a kitchen assistant for about a month and a half now. Oh, you're the guy oh, that served that, that so purple you're slop. You're the one who made those delicious steaks. Amazing. You could be a professional chef. Weren't you the fucker that tried to poison me last night? You are correct. I am a true professional. In fact, I even went to culinary school. Damn, but culinary school? Where did you go? Since Savannah you College of Art and Design? I, I heard the culinary program tests. wasn't as good as the other Listen stuff, but you didn't hear that from me. This little bombshell will help you learn what's really going on here in the fortress. <laughs> My guy went to Juilliard. <laughs> he went to Harvard for fucking food. <laughs> Breaking on this. <laughs> Art and Design, a perfect place for culinary. Exactly. <laughs> Huh. It, this maroon just wink at me? It seems he's saying, don't be upset. He's a good fellow. I think Listen, this maroon is flooding with power me. power structure within the fortress is quite complicated. The overworlders couldn't care less about us down here. We're basically dogs to them. 
you know what's crazy by the way chat so time to use my uh streamer tax um something crazy i found out about scad by the way and this explains a little bit why i dropped out so i went to a convention not that long ago i went to comic con high and the panelist uh that was hosting the panel we got to talking about scad and uh she told me I, I told her about my story about uh about uh scad because a fan had asked it's like what was um what was the darkest moment in your life and i was like when i was at scad there were nights where i literally had suicidal thoughts and i've never in my life had suicidal thoughts um and she told me it's like you know that's crazy because scad is like top 10 um scad is like top 10 schools in the u.s that um cause suicides and i was like ha huh? like it was like one of those like statistics or whatever like um and i was like oh you know yes i'm not crazy scat is in georgia yeah it's forty thousand dollars a year great teachers but yeah it's expensive yeah but um uh, I don't regret my time at SCAD, but I realized that uh, it wasn't for me. Te ayudo con tu tarea. Si tienes matemáticas de tercer grado, por supuesto te ayudo, mijita. Mijito. Mijite. Te ayudo como quieras. Pero si es algo más avanzado, si es cuarto grado o más, estás oído. You've already met the one person here you should never cross, the Duke, Risley. He knows more than you think. And if he doesn't care about something, then... I basically said if, uh, if you need help with mathematics, uh, <laughs> higher than third grade, you're fucked. Get all kinds of special Good morning, Sebastian. treatment in the infirmary. Yeah, I know who you mean. It's that jury or character, right? Who? I don't think there's anything useful about him at all. Why does he visit the infirmary practically every day? Is it normal for anyone to be going in and out of there so often? If you ask me, he's just faking it to get out of work. Mm. But did you know that Churia was a talented researcher from the Fontaine Research Institute Whoa. before he came here? I see. There's so he was no also that. educated. Oh. I don't care if he was a researcher that could turn dirt into mora. Once you're in the fortress of Meripede, you're just another inmate like everybody else. I feel a song coming on. Ah, interesting. According to Croissant, a person named Giro frequents the infirmary. I should take note of that. Speaking of which, the last time I saw him, he was passing by in the corridor with Lorveen. I also heard they started arguing in the library and got into a fight, right? Guess that's just how terrible of a guy he is. Hey, pretty he terrible. Wow, I never imagined he was that bad. But that Lorveen's also quite the odd one, you know? Motherfucker said E for everyone. Away, got into a fight with a man, and she I missed the New York accent. Hey, it's he still here, baby. Think of it. It didn't go I anyways. Mi tarea es de vocación. Me, me dijeron que pregun preguntara sobre cómo es el campo laboral que quiero. Entonces, ¿cómo ha sido para ti el ser actor de voz? Me encanta. Es pretty cool <laughs> uh, no pero me encanta eh, es como literalmente eh, jugando ahí cuando eras un niño haciendo diferentes voces y todas estas otras cosas y, eh, y es chévere divertido literalmente cada día soy otro personaje un día soy un mago un día soy un guerrero es eh, eh, mi trabajo favorito and that was the most serious answer you'll get from me. Huh. Wait a second. Wait you a second. Think. You don't think that he had two Do women. Think, could it be that they're secretly meeting there to go on dates? Oh, shit. Ah, but it's really hard to imagine. He wasn't hitting her. He was hitting that. Am I right, fellas? Oh, I can't believe this. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> After all, I do remember seeing Lorveen beat Jerry to a pulp that one time. And we might be overthinking things. 
So Jiro had a confrontation with a girl named Laverne who also frequents the infirmary. I remember that too. The Gossip Boys. Hey, they call us the Bomb Boys. Well, we're about to drop the bomb on yous. So I heard that Fulanita was fooling around with Juan Felipe. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Yo, you can ever trust a Juan Felipe. He'll literally reach around and go straight for... <laughs> what the fuck am I saying, dog? Hey, let's go see what we have. Hey, you got some steak for me, Wolsey. Hey, yo. What you doing here? Search for Linny? Oh, true. Watch this. Uh, boop? No, nope. boop? Where the hell is this? There we go. Oh. Do I have to go lower? Yeah, these floors are super confusing. There's no blue teleporter thing. So I have to go lows. Right? Hola, como estas? Hola, bienvenido. Bienvenido a mi clase. Click on the center wolf to teleport. What? Really? You lied to me. You lied to me. See, I have to go lower. I was right, and you was wrong. It was staring me in the face, and you said, hey, just click on the middle thing that teleports. Bajoon. <laughs> Still wrong floor? Yeah. Production zone higher? Then why is it looking right at me? Elevator impact. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. I was trying to warn you, but it was too late. It's already in motion, bro. How the fuck? The wind rises. Oh, there was a portal here. Following me. Oh, that goes lower? I didn't know we could go lower. Squall and Fury. Bum, bum, ba -da -dum, bum. Huh. What's up, Nectar? Quit following me. Shot it got low, 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 low. Are you gonna stream the new Sonic Frontiers? Uh maybe at some point. Uh, today is not that day. Today, my plan is to stream this, stream the story, and then I'm out of here. Well, 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 if it isn't Linny, Lynette, hmm. and the third. Oh, yeah, don't we need Fremenet's help? Huh? Why not both, Sailor? That look in your eyes. You found something? <laughs> a little something, yeah. I found a little something, but it'll cost you. Hey, this is no time to be modest. Just tell him we found a boatload of information. Hey, shut up, <laughs> Paimon. As expected of the legendary duo, you have my full and undivided attention. We need Fremine. We need him for a job. Huh. I'd have never guessed that myself. The rumors swirling about this place are unreliable after all. And Master Child probably went missing because he found a way out. I found a way a out. After all. I suppose he's much more resourceful than I initially gave him credit for. Man, it's crazy that you actually call him Master Child, I just realized. for our final report to Father. We need to find out Master Child's exact whereabouts. Father hmm. told me that even though Master Child said he was just coming to Fontaine for a vacation... He actually had some personal reasons. His agenda might be his disappearance. Most important thing right now is to catch up to him. His escape route is 
pretty flooded, so we'll have to task someone with professional diving skills to chase. Yeah, them. we need we we've got a job well, for Fremen. Put it that way, it's obvious that only Fremen would be up to the task. I mean, we would do it, but the game is blocking yeah, us because don't know Wallen. He's working today. Coming here as a group would have attracted too much attention. I'll talk to Please him. Please do. We're him. counting on you. Thank you. No need to thank me. This was always a part of our mission, after all. Interesting, Honestly, interesting. I'm far more impressed by you guys managing hey, what's up, Mary? to all this information How are you? right under Risley's watchful eyes. <laughs> Collecting information has always been our strong Collecting point. Collecting information's always been my strong suit, she sees. Now, let me think. To find out more information... Your dogging? True. Fremenet will have to retrace Master Child's original route. And if he's to do that, he'll have to set out on the next pipe cleaning day at the earliest. That's six days from now. Hmm. And after that, he'll probably take another two or three days to return. You can even estimate how long it'll take for him to get back? We've been working together for a long time. We know each other's capabilities like the backs of our hands. Traveler, what say you to meeting here nine days from now? We'll be able to pick up Fremenet while we're at it, too. Hmm. Sure. Oh, and there's just one last thing we'd like your help with. Though we can just sit back and wait for Fremenet's report on Master Child's whereabouts, we still need to make more progress on the investigation of the Forbidden Zone. Fremenet uh, is how are you? I'm doing all right. I had to address something earlier today, but um, areas, and I'll need to spend uh, I think time I'm okay Fremenet now. Prepare for his diving mission. I'm so, hungry. You I've not eaten at all. Uh, uh, I, I had a croissant today. What do you want us to do? Will it be hard? And I'm debating about getting a Chipotle bowl well, or something else. I won't else. call it easy per se, but I think you'll be able to pull it off. Something happened. Listen carefully. Just me being ignorant and uneducated. An That's all. To get into the infirmary and investigate the room and environs. You've mentioned several sketchy-looking people always. But I'm trying to be better. That's earlier. all. So it probably has something to do with the secret Question. we're hoping to uncover. You've already met the head nurse, so she'll be less suspicious of you. Please eat. Investigate I'll the eat what I did. The and, any active and also when I finish. And pass those on to me alongside anything else you're able to discover. Honkai Star Rail is back up. All right. Anyway. Well, bye Genshin. Uh, it was fun while it lasted. Anyway, we're playing Honkai Star. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Close it, close it, close it, close it, close it, close it, close it. Okay. I'm not gonna do that, chat. I didn't actually, actually open up on Guy Star Rail, you silly billies. <laughs> Could you imagine? Who would do that? Stop would, would do that. But also, there's no need to take risks. Don't forget, safety always comes first. Why did Ether move? Sounds good. I'll give it my best shot. Did you only say that because I'm an amateur? No. When it comes to intelligence gathering, I'd never consider you to be an amateur. Yeah, that's Didn't what I thought. You say it yourself. It's always been your strong suit. Yeah. You're welcome. I'll believe anything as long as it comes from you. So please prove your prowess to me once again. Please prove right. your prowess to me once again. As we finish our prep. Let's I just go got here in your closing. No. Don't forget, we meet here again in nine days. Stay safe. Nine days? Can we fast forward? After doing some prep work with Paimon, you sleep. Uh, okay. Nine days? What? Paimon's a muppet. Hey, stay here for now. Paimon will take a peek. Thank you, Miu. Hmm. Hmm? There seem to be several people inside. Let's try to eavesdrop on them first. You and Paimon hide in the corner and try your best to eavesdrop. Several people appear to be engaged in conversation. Right. I think it's not impossible. What's going on? Well. What? Hold on. What? It's a bit hard to understand them. From what did you say? Why don't we just try to talk to them in person? Let's go and you nod and take a long, deep breath before inhaling a lot of money. If you recall correctly, that potion is the result of a failed attempt at alchemy. <laughs> nice. Nice. Throw it all up. Having given it a good whiff, you hand the potion back to... Po Someone! Please help! He, he's dead! 
I think I'm gonna vom. Whoa, are you okay? No, that's why I'm on the floor. Oh my, what's wrong, little one? Little. There's no need to panic. Take a deep breath before you begin. Oh, you're talking to Paimon. I was gonna the say. The traveler started complaining of a stomach ache and then nausea and then collapsed onto the ground. Paimon doesn't know what to do. Yeah, you definitely Freaking don't. Limbs, twitching fingers, and pale complexion. <gasps> Could it be poisoning? No. It's just bad steak. Let me take a look. Please lie down over here. My stomach really hurts. My tummy. My tummy tum. Don't worry. I'll get you to the bed safely. Here, hold on to my shoulder and walk slowly. Look at that backpack she has. <laughs> you can do it, traveler. Do it. Do it, sailor. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Don't apologize. You're sick after all. Now, please relax. I'm just going to do a preliminary checkup on you. <laughs> Sijuin has taken out uh, a few instruments and begun to do her checkup. Hope I'm not so healthy that she gets suspicious. <sighs> I see now. You're faking it. My checkup has confirmed that he's not in any mortal danger. <sighs> That's our worst fear out of the way. Secondly, what do you want? Eh? Oh, that's good. But... He's literally so breath fighting gods, has nothing on a tummy. But his tummy, his tummy hurts. I'll continue my diagnosis of the patient now. Please, relax and take a deep breath. She's <gasps> <gasps> using her hands to palpitate different areas on my abdomen. Seems like she's using elemental energy too. Her expression's growing more and more relaxed. Uh, don't sense serious damage to your organs either. Does it hurt when I press here? It's not too bad. Oh. And here? Okay, that, that hurt a little. Huh? But based on my initial checkup, there shouldn't be a problem here. Oh, how strange. Oh no. Was my app thing a bit over the top? Nope, not really. Can barely feel it. You can't feel it? Oh. Hmm. I understand. So that's what it is. It's gas. I think you just ate something that disagreed with you. That's all. Nothing too serious. Hmm. Outside of a pretty bad stomach ache when it decides to act up. True. <sighs> so that's what it is. Thank goodness it's not anything more serious. Who? Mm -hmm. Now can you tell us all your secrets? <sighs> Inmates complaining about the food recently. I'll inform our head chef, Mr. Wolsey, of this problem as soon as possible. He'll be fired. Congratulations. The health risk is incredibly low, so you should recover within a couple days. Yay. Why don't you take a rest here while Wait, I days? get some medicine for you? Miss Lavine, I'll have to trouble you to help me look after this new patient while I'm gone. Very well. Oh, look who it is. Ah, and she hopped away just like that. Well, she ran away. This infiltration mission is going much more smoothly than I imagined. Next, there are only two people. Sijuin just called that woman Nervine, so she has to be one of those frequent visitors Hello. that. So, how are you feeling now? I was reading! Still not great. I can't keep staring at her. It'll draw unwanted attention. That guy also seems to have uh, noticed. I was looking in my direction, too. His stomach aches really bad. He was stumbling about the whole way here, so Paimon's really worried. Ow! If Miss Sijuin says it's not a serious problem, then there's no need to worry. She's the best medic we've got down here. She's the only medic we've got down here. But it also looks like she's the only medic you've got down here. That's what I said. Ah, uh, well, that's true. That's what I said. What do you mean, that's true? That's really misrepresenting the situation. Of course, I can't speak for the whole fortress, but it's not like everyone imprisoned here is useless, you know? Mm. Though they may have committed crimes and gotten locked up here as a result, they still know a thing or two about medicine, and they help Miss Sishuin take care of the sick and injured. Well, that's good. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But did you have to lecture me about it in front of another patient? Aren't you a patient, too? Where did all your energy come from? Damn. Uh... Ah, huh, that's correct. <clears throat> um, I also have a, Sorry, a tummy ache. Got a bit ahead of um, myself. Are you two also sick? We've been sick a while. 
I come back every once in a while for checkups and to pick up the medicines Miss Siegeween prescribes for us. That's just the nature of chronic illnesses. As for her, <laughs> you could say she fancies herself as Miss Siegeween's capable helper because she learned a bit of medical knowledge ages ago. Wow, teacher's pet. Please watch your mouth, Mr. Jurier. Don't forget that you are the primary reason I have frequent heart palpitations. Damn. Hey, don't start They stress each other out from all the... Ing. Those two have a pretty terrible relationship and only ran into each other because they came here to pick their meds at the same time. That's what they want us to think. They be f Ing. But outside of the two of them, there's nothing suspicious inside the room. All the files on the table appear to be patient records, and while there's a box, I can't check it out right now. Well, well, water in a well. There also aren't that many furnishings on the wall. Wait, there seems to be a movable hatch on the ground over there. Hey, hey! There's no need to fight! Everyone will be released someday, so there's no need to argue over silly things Someday! Like <laughs> but... But he started it! Release. It's way too early for us to even think about that. And who the heck knows if we'd even be able to continue our previous lives. There it is. The presence of a movable hatch isn't strange by itself, but perhaps it's my adventurer's intuition speaking that it's a bit strange and that there's a movable hatch here of all places. Is it hiding something? Please allow me to end this boring and useless conversation. <laughs> oh, and Mr. Jurier, I don't want to see your face here again anytime soon. Bro, did she's like, I'm done with the filler. Let's get on with it. <laughs> and same to you, Miss Lorvine. Anyway, that was more than enough rest for me, so I'm going to get out of this excessively noisy place. See you later, everyone. We don't like you. He just slowly walked off like that. <laughs> They're gonna smash it's later. Just what he's like. <sighs> you should see him in bed. I'm Lorvine, and that's well, his name is Jurier, but I hope you'll never have cause to remember his name. You really can't stand him, huh? I mean, can you blame me? Look, who would like someone who's as arrogant and obsessed with weird research topics as he is? <clears throat> we get it. You but smash at night. Keep dwelling on him. I, I'll accompany you two for a while. Miss Sishween should be back soon, and I'm sure you'll feel better as soon as you've had some of her medicine. Thank you for looking after me. No, no. It's nothing. Thank you. I'm back. Did you rest like you promised? No. Thank you for getting our medicine, Miss Sijuin. Did you all cooperate with your bed rest? I trust that nobody got up to walk around. <laughs> Good. Here, this should be two days worth of medicine for you. Take one pill now, and then continue your bed rest. I guess. Why does she sound like Noelle from Black Clover? Uh, you know? Miss Lorvine. I left in a bit of a hurry just now. Do you still remember if we discussed the color of the pill that you should be taking today? <sighs> I remember. You said it should be yellow. Did they talk about that before we walked in? Why don't I remember? Yellow, huh. I understand. These are yours. Please, make sure to go to bed early after taking them tonight. You'll benefit from a good night's sleep. We get it. You're talking in code. It's so fucking obvious. There's a secret bar downstairs that you guys don't want me to see. And the secret pill code is blue. All right. Then I'll also be on my way now. I hope you feel better soon, too. Yeah, I'll see you at the club tonight. See ya. Meet me in the club. I'm going to fill out your medical record now. You're going to be known as the Traveler, right? I just want to double check a few details, if that's all right with you. Red pill. Those two made quite the commotion just now, so why don't we let the Traveler rest? Paimon can answer the question. Oh, instead. brother. Here we go. So his primary symptoms are abdominal pain with secondary symptoms of nausea. Uh, is there anything else? Uh, hmm. for Burden okay. Drone. This is Act 4. All right, then. Is there anything we should know besides to take the meds? 
all, his base constitution is quite good, so I'm sure he'll recover quite quickly after taking the medicine. Please, make sure to stick to bland or less stimulating foods, and don't stay up too late at night. Bland? Psh, bro, I, I am pigging out to tonight. Seizwing's still looking at me. I should try to take a nap, like she said. Oh, you're going to take a nap already? Okay, then. You get some rest. All right, goodbye. You can, however, still catch some hints of Paimon's cover. Oh. I'm up. He may look a bit under the weather now, but he's actually super strong. I'm up. What are you talking about? So you're the best of companions. Well, don't worry. He'll recover soon. Permanently. That word brings forth a wave of comfort. You let yourself relax. You're awake. Ah! No, I'm not. You woke me up. How do you feel? You slept for a really long time, but we never left. I feel a lot better thinking both. Without a worry in the world. Remember to take your meds regularly and remember bland foods. Bland foods. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Sijuin. For a second, I thought this dude was on the floor. I'm gonna be honest. All right, let's go. Seems like a lot of people have been coming down with an upset stomach lately. <sighs> I'll need to address that. Hmm. Address this. Justice! No, I'm just kidding. She wants you on that kidney stone diet. God damn it. I'll never escape it. I'll never escape the stones. Those pesky stones. Don't take my joke, Seto. It's just ice. Hehe. <laughs> We've gathered here today to go to sleep. You really are something. To be able to fall asleep like that and even sleep talk the entire time, you scared Paimon half to death. Sleep talk? No, but you kept mumbling things along the lines of, Pyron, go take my grilled fish and put down the Adeptus Temptation now. Damn. Paimon talked with Sijuin the entire time you were asleep. She seems like she's just a sincere nurse and Paimon didn't notice anything unusual in the room. Are you sure we're not going off track with the infirmary? I saw a hatch. There are still a few weird things about the place. The movable hatch on the ground as well as the question Sijuin asked Laverne. And also, they were really talking about meds before we walked in? No, and was Laverne and yours are genuine or are they just putting on a show? Hear me oh, out. Oh, you really are super thorough. All those tiny little suspicious things that Paimon didn't even pick up on. <laughs> Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Over the next few days, you and Paimon work at your stations at normal. Thank God. Keywords relating to your suspicions on a piece of paper. You like that? Oh, well, I'm glad, Atari. You managed to pass the slip to a busy Lynette as she happens to pass by. Uh, her disguise is impeccable and she does not even look at you or change her... She see that swipe chat? It was so good you didn't see it. It was up, Silla. And finally, the promised ninth day arrive. Bro. Full metal alchemist. Full metal alchemist. Let's go meet up with Lenny. What disguise? Hey. Lynette. Or, or sorry, Lenny was dressed as Lynette. Oh, well, hi, Silla. Hmm? Hmm? Chat, we're in 4.1, right? Did you two run into any trouble over the past few days? No, we just worked our shifts according to the schedule. Nothing weird happened. Yes? Okay. Good to know. Hmm, that's good. That means you didn't raise any suspicions when you infiltrated the infirmary. No suspicions. Taking a look at the slip you and think of the hundred biddies. Fremenay successfully left the grounds via the pipes two Hell days yeah. ago. And as of last night, Lynette has also infiltrated the infirmary after faking an illness. 
Oh, dope. Wait, why is she getting involved as well? You already went above and beyond when you scoped out the infirmary. Oh, well, that's cute, Marblade. So put it more bluntly, even if we were to view that as something you did in exchange for Fremenet's help, you've already done more than enough. Good. Infiltrating a guarded stronghold is a different kind of job from a one-off investigation. We want to avoid using the same faces over and over and reduce the amount of suspicion that will fall on any given person. Lynette also felt like you have already taken the first step for us, so she should be the one to finish the job. Well, I hope she does so well. That's what Lynette thinks. Oh, Paimon hopes everything's going well for her. Yeah, I'm not opposed to helping you. Yeah. Then, let's go check on Lynette before Fremenet returns. If everything went well, then she should be wrapping up her investigation right about now. Bet. Is now really a good time? According to my observations, Sijuin always spends around half an hour away from the infirmary right before lunch. Lynette knows this as well, so this should be a good time to meet up with her. Oh yeah, we heard about that too. Also, I'm her brother, remember? It's only natural for an older brother to care about hey, his well, thank you for the follow. well-being. Okay, I guess. let's head over right away. Let's get over there. Let's get into the infirmary and find out what's been going on. The wind rises. I'm glad they teleported me over here because it would have sucked if I had to go up the elevator and then go. Where's that hatch? That should be here right now. She's in the hatch. Oh. Back here. Back here. Strange. Lynette? As expected, Sijuin isn't here, but why isn't Lynette here? Could she have found a lead and left to follow it? No, Lynette rarely deviates from the plan. We agreed that if she were to make changes on the fly, she'd find a way to let me know. Hmm. Unless... I am an older brother. Let's see if there are any clues around here. We can look while we wait for her. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, well, well. Looks like I found clue number one. Wait, this thing? It doesn't look like it's been disguised that well. Lenny leans down to get close to a movable hatch and starts tapping. The space behind it is empty. From its size, I don't think it's an entrance that is meant to be taken apart. There's probably a mechanism around here somewhere. Oh! Could Lynette have tried to get inside? But if that's the case, she would have contacted me for sure. Hmm. Let's look around here for some more clues. Don't panic. He's definitely beginning to panic. <laughs> Look at him. Stop separating them. Oh, Linny and Lynette, you mean? Look, I'm jumping on the bed. I'm jumping on the bed. I'm jumping on the bed. Uh, uh. Did you guys ever used to do this? If you had like beds close by, you would just... Uh, uh, and then go back. Would you guys ever do that? Am I the weird one? And then just be like... <laughs> and then just be like... Oh, shit. And then just be like... Eep, 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 eep. None of the beds have any signs of having been slept in, except that one over there. That's the one Lynette must have used, right? You said she was pretending to be. I never dead. had an opportunity to do so. <laughs> Couldn't be me. She would have said her migraine was having a particularly bad flare up. Generally speaking, the head nurse would then ask her to lie down and rest while she left to retrieve the medication. But this bed is still unmade. Which means either the head nurse didn't return the entire time from when Lynette laid down up until she left the bed, or the nurse intentionally left it this way. Hmm. That's not a good sign. <sighs> Lenny. Are you freaking out on me, buddy? Let's look at these notes. There are some books here and a few files hmm advanced nursing how to raise the spirit of your patients a quick guide to the psychology of emotions and the meaning of laughter these sure are some sounds like a book books. out of sino am i right chat Sijuin would be interested in these kinds of things she even has books on understanding people's motivations and feelings hmm is it because she's a melazine or does she have a need to understand her patient's emotional state? Yes. Hmm. Seems quite normal to me. These are skills that would come in handy for a nurse from time to time. Hey, you guys, there's a slip of paper over here. A slip of paper? It's right over here, and there's a bunch written on it, too. 
It reads, Out of respect for your usual practices, I'll use a piece of paper or card as the medium huh? to pass on my message. You may consider this as me giving you my best regards. Huh? This is... Child? Is... Is that all? The back. Huh. This... This is... Show me. Now. <sighs> that, that look on your face. P Paimon's reading it now. <sighs> Would you care to guess where Miss Lynette of the Fatui could be right now? It's not one of the people that... It's not one of the people that took Lynette when they were younger, right? No. Could she have... Is she already... Risley. Did he deliberately leave the infirmary unguarded to use it as bait? Okay. Wait. You mean he was aware of our ghouls from the very beginning? But why? We didn't run into any trouble last time, and he also never reached out to us since. Why would he choose to act during our second infiltration attempt instead of the first? Yes, that is a crucial question. Risley, he doesn't do anything without a clear goal or reason. So this means he had no concerns about your activities from the very beginning. Interesting. And here's the thing, chat. Risley isn't bad. He's the warden. He oh, has no. to keep these fuckers in check. Makes sense? This is what I've been waiting for. I've been waiting for this motherfucker to be like, you think I was just gonna let you run around my fucking tower with no repercussions? You are not from the same camp as us. You were sent down here by Nervulet, so you have no conflict of interest with Risley. We're a completely different story, though. Yeah, you're a bunch of Fatui. And Child is here. Why didn't he go after you as well? I'd like to know that too. Why did he only go after her? Because then you'll come to him? Don't panic. Just think everything over. I have to stay calm. This is not like what happened last time. The situation last is different time? now. When... Yeah. <laughs> last time, I'm assuming, being when... She was sold off, essentially. Wait, you're right. Wait, but that means... The fact that Fremenet was able to leave the grounds, could Risley have let him go as well? But what does he gain by letting Fremenet leave like that? I get it now, do you? He deliberately made them both disappear. <sighs> so he's challenging me and trying to provoke me, I'm sure of it. Ah, we never should have sent out Fremenet. We had to go through all that trouble to find an opening to sneak him around the guards and into the pipe, and we even thought luck was on our side. If Risley let him leave on purpose, then he's probably in a terrible spot now as well. You oh, fucked up, Linny. More panicked. We have to calm him down. Hey! Nothing works better than telling them to calm down. Hey! Calm down. Don't be like this, Linny. Fremini wouldn't have left if we hadn't told you about Child. That was our fault. No. I'm the leader of this operation, and I'm the one responsible for this team. I was the one who failed to protect them. I'll go talk to Risley. I'm waiting for Risley at one point to just... I'm waiting for the clap. I'm waiting for the clap, man. Hey, don't be reckless! Traveler, please talk some sense into him! I simply cannot allow Lynette to be abducted again. I have to yeah. go. I'll find a way to get them back. Be careful with those claps. Because people are mistaken for his cheeks, yeah. Hmm. Well, Sijuin was there the whole time. <laughs> That's crazy. Man, we are terrible at looking around this room. Also, uh, yeah, chat really doesn't want that hint. 45 more subs and you get a hint to what the Halloween cover is. Oh, no. Ooh, that mischievous Wait. smile. I feel like we still have some room to make changes on these details. It's not impossible, but it'll require extensive testing. Huh? Is that so? Very well. Then please be my 
mindful of the time. Oh, 35. Yeah, I can do math. Huh? Hey, thank you for the sub. Sylvie underscore spark Pack gifted a tier up. one sub to fuck nugget. They have Whoever's given 24 gift subs dropping. in the channel. They'll probably come in once we stop talking. Damn, they're good. Someone, please help. He, he's there. Wow. They are on... Th they are on a different level. Oh, these two. As expected, they've already found this place. Oh, they are quite sharp. What a delightful turn of events. I like smart people, but I also <laughs> like playing dumb. <laughs> I like the feeling of being trusted. Oh my god. This evil genius. Oh my. What's wrong, little one? There's no need to panic. Take a deep breath before you begin. Being able to read human expressions is quite the useful skill. Damn. Also confirmed, Hydro. She played us like a goddamn so fiddle. Catch up to him. Catch up to him. Say less. He's already out of sight. What? So Cheater! What the fuck just happened? Did, did someone give me free crystals? Did, did someone just buy me crystals? The fuck just happened? <laughs> Chat, what happened? Love how they did. I. Well, damn. You can do that. Yeah, it, it's through a, a crazy. It, it's through a third-party website. Chat, why don't you do that? Could it be your cousin? Man, I hope my cousin didn't accidentally, you know, pay me money. When he should have given himself on his account. You're welcome, fam. TF Oh well thanks! Come out and face me, Risley! Think of the biddies. Mm, aren't we at an administrative TFLM office Bayos. space? Why don't you at least try and think of the to follow sub. even a couple rules from the fortress's indoor management regulations? Damn. I'm waiting for the clap, bro. Give me the clap. Not of his cheeks, just just one of a well done. What did you do to my sister? Mm -hmm. I ran into the young miss at the infirmary. I'd heard that she was suffering from quite the migraine, so I decided to invite her over for a cup of tea. I do have some teas in my collection that can work wonders against such an illness. Stop Rice, joking around! Sleep, titties, yummy, Where did you take my face. siblings? Rice, sleep, titties, yummy, yummy face. <laughs> Why'd you say it twice? Think of this up. I have also heard that your performances are quite the spectacle. Miss Lynette would sometimes enter a box filled with water, only to emerge the next second from another place altogether. Maybe she'll appear behind you right now if you were to turn your head. Damn, Risley the magician? He tricked me into turning my head. No, he's probably not looking to attack me right now. All of the hostages are in his hands, and he's even in the mood for small talk. That means Lynette is probably still alive. You knew we were investigating the infirmary from the start. So you deliberately aroused the Traveler's suspicions and baited us into continuing our investigation just so that you'd be able to kidnap Lynette. I'm s could you imagine if Rightfully's like, I have no idea what you are talking about. What? You're investigating? As for Fremini... No. You probably didn't even interfere with Child's escape. You let him go, so you could purge the Fatui members that we had planted into your ranks. I... I'm sorry, he escaped? There was no need to do so. The Fortress of Meripede is a pretty pleasant place. Most people enjoy their lives here. The only ones who act differently are those with personal agendas. It was quite easy to identify your colleagues. Damn, tell him. You removed our original members and spread the news of Child's escape so Father would assign our team to come down and investigate. Fremenet has also fallen into your hands, right? If you're oh so omnipotent and so in control, why would you need hostages? One correction. Lynette is in my hands right now, but Fremenet is not. Damn. He's not? What do you really want? Hey, what's up, King? Ah. Oh, wonderful. 
Everyone is here, so I'll only need to say this once. Thank you so much for cooperating with me. This... This motherfucker sounds like he's about to pull some glass, put some glasses on, and just be Kudo from fucking One Piece, and just start killing everybody. I'm eager into the point, I see. Alas, only Miss Lynette is currently having a cup of the fortress's finest tea. Although, as per your original plan, Mr. Fremenet should also have returned to the fortress by now. But he has neither shown up within my gates, nor has he been taken into any kind of custody. So, where do you think he may be right now? Damn. Wait, you can't mean... you locked him outside in the sea? I closed the fortress's gate to the outside world. That's all. Fremenet's a star diver, so he should be fine, right? No, we're still here, so he definitely try to find a way to come back for us. So we can't assume he might have made a break for the surface. But why would I do this, you may be asking? To have an audience with you, of course. My intel tells me that Mr. Linney is a great magician, so it's only natural for me to want to have some cards of my own when it comes to negotiating. Bro. Damn, Joe's really good. Fuck. Yeah, all right, hit, hit me with it. I, I love this. I don't know what it is about Fontaine, but they've decided to make it the most, like, mystery, like... It's exactly what I wanted. It's like the mystery, murder mystery, like, dr cop drama bullshit, you know, the twists and turns. I love it. Besides, I do recall you mentioning to Miss Lynette that you've always wanted to have a face-to-face -face meeting with the Lord of the Fortress of Meripede, regardless of whether it was in a personal or a professional capacity. Well, you got your wish. So, you've been keeping tabs on us before we even set foot in the fortress. Yes! Some of my folks just happened to hear a thing or two, that's all. In any case, I will be straight with you. I was willing to play dumb and turn a blind eye, so we had a pleasant few days playing games together here. But once you started focusing on the Forbidden Zone, all of that changed. Yes! Yes! This is what I wanted out of Ridesley. This is... I love it. Like, I will say 1.3 or 4.3. Like, sorry, not 4.3. Act 3 of the Archon Quest of Fontaine was uh, a bit of a slog. But the fact that they set it up, uh, the whole thing, and I was like, damn, Ridesley's like too nice. And here it is. It pays off in act four. Yeah, I was playing dumb. Let's, let's be honest. Uh, I, I changed my tune when you were looking for the Gnosis. Say it's the Gnosis, you motherfucker. Say it's the Gnosis. Mr. Linney, the cards are stacked against you right now. Miss Lynette is in my hands, and Mr. Fremenet is still slowly being pickled out there in the brine. You know just as well as I that he cannot last out there forever. God. You need do but one thing to guarantee their safety. I would like you to contact your superior, and ideally invite her over for a cup of oh, tea with me. fuck! You want to see father? <laughs> but why should she bother giving you an audience? Because well, you will ask her to. If she cares for the well-being of her dearest children, she should have plenty of motivation to join me for a parent's evening. <laughs> I've heard that the bonds between the members of the House of the Hearth are like the bonds of family. I don't see why she would refuse. This motherfucker wants a parent-teacher conference. This man said, <clears throat> I would like your mother to see me after class. I want to see your mother. What you like? <laughs> Why did you think father sent us to handle the fortress of Meripede? Stop, this I'm a teacher. A no man's land. You know? It wouldn't be fitting for anyone as important as a harbinger like father to come here in person. Oh, I see. So it's because she doesn't care for my place here. That's such a shame. After all, I've amassed quite the tea collection. I was looking forward to sharing it with her. Both Monsieur Nervillette and Lady Farina have already received many samples as gifts. Oh? Was this the extent of your master plan to get to father? No matter how much pressure you may put on me, I won't allow you to use us to blackmail her. Damn. You people really are difficult to get along Whoa! with. Whoa! All I'm asking for is a face-to-face -face conversation. Does she truly have no interest in the fortress's secret? Okay, I know that your people 
was the line it definitely sounded like you people really are and i'm like wow 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 <laughs> i do love his performance mr linney you have one last chance to invite your father here if you refuse mm -hmm. <sighs> they're dead Why do you have to do this? Instead of asking why I'm doing oh, this, no. why don't you try to see things from my perspective for a second? From the very beginning, the Fatui has been actively infiltrating my fortress. True. I gave He's you spitting. a warning by cutting off the first few operatives I found, but that only caused you to double down. Had you given up on the fortress then and there, I'd have no reason to want to talk. But yeah, he's he's spitting. Mr. Fremenet left the fortress on his own. And Miss Lynette tried to pry out my secrets right in front of me. No matter how you look at it, the responsibility for this falls on you. I, Damn. I shouldn't ask Father to do anything because of us. Six. Five. Hey! Countdown! Hit him with it. Hit him with it. Hit him with it. Wait, I... Two. One. Time's up. It really is a shame, Mr. Lenny. Damn. Wisely. It really is a teacher. That's crazy. Put some glasses on him, and it's like, it's like, class, quiet, quiet, 10, 9, like putting the finger in front of his face. He's a fucking teacher, bro. I'm dead. Negotiations have broken down. Please leave, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for my afternoon tea. Puts on the gauntlet, gauntlets as he says that. <laughs> Please wait. Can we really not talk about this some more? Hey, I counted down. It's over. Yeah, listen to the traveler. If you can't talk to Linny, can you at least talk to us? You do realize that I'm only letting you go because of Nervalette, yes? You're here helping him out, and I've already done my best to stay out of your way. Damn. True. Damn, fuck. Wisely's cool, chat. Fuck. But that doesn't mean you can just do whatever you want. The fortress may be small and remote, but it still has its own set of Please laws. Please spare Fremenet and Lynette. I want to save Fremenet and Lynette too. Hmm. Then how about this? Those who are capable deserve respect. You've spent quite some time investigating my home turf by now, so why don't you tell me a thing or two about what you found, hmm? I'll ask you three questions. Oh, shit. Answer all of them correctly, and I'll agree to your request. Oh, shit. Question one. Regarding the hidden rules of the production zone, what is the truth behind the one about not being allowed to work for three days in a row? Um. Um. I didn't know I was going to have a test. I told you he was a teacher, chat. I told you. I can't believe he's asking about the hidden rules. If I recall correctly, if you keep working without any rest during your lunch hour on the third day, you will find a portion of strange meat in your welfare meal. It's a good thing that we've already run a thorough investigation on this. Let's see if I can remember all the clues. I should be able to find an answer if I can piece together everything. Oh, God, I'm terrible at tests. If you break the hidden rule at the production zone, your welfare meal might contain some strange meat. Um. Regarding the hidden rule of the production zone, what is the truth behind who will see it if you keep working continuously? I've been told that the infirmary is always empty for the half hour just before lunch. But what could Sijuin be doing during that time? Watching people working. Under what circumstances does this strange meat appear? We often see Miss Sijuin observing the prisoners at work near the production zone. It seems like she can perceive the general state of a person's health just by looking at them. Hmm. Fanta's internal report suggests that they're starting a new trial of an I know, he speaks, unpackaged chat. product. But the product has to undergo a trial because even Fanta's own employees have a lot of reservations about it. I wonder if that's it. The research notes said that the Melazine race perceives the world very differently from humans. As a result, the Melazines have also developed a sense of aesthetics that appears rather strange and alien to humans. Oh. The Fanta promoter has been mm. struggling because he doesn't recognize the real value of coupons. 
Meanwhile, the Duke believes that only idiots who don't understand the value of Coop. According to Collins, the Pancration oh. tournament only took place because the Fanta company sponsored it. The company must want a return on their investment as well. I you could only assume it's this clue, right? What does the strange meat appear the way it does? Is it Melusine? Notes said that the Fuck! Oh, incorrect. Those two. Really? Who will see it if you keep working continuously? We often see yes, yeah, Sejuin. Okay, I was right. I just chose the wrong clue. I was right. I just chose the wrong clue. Strange meat. I've been told that the infirmary is always empty for the half hour just before lunch. But what could Sijuin be doing during that time? What does the strange meat appear? I mean, it's either that or like... The Fanta promoter has been... Fanta's internal report... Maybe this? Okay. Then it has to be the Sijuin thing. Told that the infirmary and if it's not, then I'll go fuck myself. There we go. That was close. it now who would have guessed <laughs> it's weird hearing ether's voice yeah i don't really watch you but i love your tiktoks hey well i'm glad well however you consume my content i appreciate it regardless the hidden rule of the production zone yes people are not supposed to work three days in a row and if they do they'll get strange meat best paimon is back mouth. baby let's go this strange meat must have something to do with the people who disappeared. But in reality, they were all prepared by Sijuin, the head nurse. Oh, wait, chat. Hold on. There we go. Proceed. She often visits the production zone to observe the workers' health and makes a note of anyone who has worn themselves out after three full days of work. Out of her sense of duty as the head nurse, as well as her genuine concern for the workers' health, Sijuin visits the cafeteria right before lunch and cooks an extra dish for those who can use the stamina boost. Mm. Sijuin has only the best intentions with her surprise gift and doesn't want anyone to find out about what she does. However, unfortunately, Melusine does a race perceive the world differently there than you humans go. and their sense of aesthetics is even more alien to us the recipients of her lovingly prepared special meals cannot taste the care within and usually just freak out oh Are we on the i right just path? hydrated <laughs> not bad you've uncovered sijuin's secret and even guessed her intentions correctly as well it's nice to know that her efforts have not gone unacknowledged. Yeah! All right, now for my next question. All right. There are also some hidden rules in the Pancration Ring, including the one that you're not allowed to support both sides of a fight. Why is that? Hmm. Let's go. Let's sift through. If you violate the hidden rules of the Pancration, you will receive a bag containing a strange blood color fluid. Well, I mean, that's clearly the test subject thing. <laughs> Who sent the package containing the strange blood flu flu bl bl The Fanta promoter has been struggling because he doesn't recognize the real value of coupon. According to Collins, the Pancration tournament only took place because the Fanta company sponsored it. The company must want a return on their investment as well. Um Fanta's internal report suggests that the they're package? starting a new trial of an unnamed and unpackaged product. But the product has to undergo a trial because e uh, why does the Damn Fanta's it. internal report here? The Fanta promoter that one. has been struck, and then that one is this Fanta's one. Internal report, and then strain. Why does the look the way it does? Shit. The research notes said that the Melusine race, according to Collins, the Pancration tournament only. To Hold on. This internal report suggests that they're starting a new trial of an to support and unpackaged product. Why do only those who buy to tickets to support both fighters receive the package? And then that Fanta's one. Fanta's internal report. Okay. Fuck! I flipped them. According to Collins. 
And then... There we go. I flipped it, Chad. I flipped it. I flipped it. Yeah, we're playing for Jingliu tomorrow. It's hard to pick like which one is which, though. At the same time. And if they do, they'll receive a package containing a strange blood-colored liquid. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. People get scared when they see it because they've subconsciously begun to associate it with the missing boxer. True. But? But really, it's just a bottle of the latest yet-to-be-named and packaged new Fanta trial product. Yup. A blood-red drink. It's no wonder even Fanta's own staff were questioning the company's decision-making. The company, facing backlash from its own staff, decided to try to hey, trial well, the product on a kid. smaller scale. To see how it might be received by... Later, Parayash. They came to the Fortress of Meropeed and offered to sponsor the Pancration Tournament so they could push their new product. But the Duke completely refused to even entertain the idea. The Duke, knowing how valuable coupons are in the fortress, knew that only total idiots who didn't understand their true value would bother buying a Fanta product here. Hmm. And so, only those who proved their stupidity by being dumb enough to bet on two opposing sides of the same match were selected Damn. to receive the drinks. We're really stupid, Chet. I acknowledge Jet. the effort you've put into bringing the truth of this mystery to light. Although, based on your description, that Fanta promoter is a bit too careless with his words. I may just reconsider my collaboration with the company. All right, and here's the final question. What's the secret behind our head nurse and all of her patients in the infirmary? Ooh! Let's get it. We haven't collected enough info to answer that question. Stop your cruel and pointless games, Risley! You know that we haven't finished our investigation, so there's no way we can answer the last hey, question. Hey, hey, chill! The thought of sparing Lynette and Fremen never even crossed your mind. You'll pay for this. He's gonna beat the shit out of you. Ah! Who did that? Who shot him? Are you all right? Who just shot my? Who shot that? Who did that? Oh, <laughs> close one. I owe you, Sijuin. That was a fantastic shot. It was nothing, Your Grace. She has a gun? She, she's got a gun? Well, chat, you heard it here. First character to have a gun in Genshin Impact, and it's this adorable Sailor Moon looking fucking Melusine. Oh shit, she's back in heat! See, Dream? Though this oh, gun no. may look like a toy, it's actually fully functional, as I just demonstrated. And uh, you're gonna knock the fuck out. Clorinda has a gun as well. I need to see it. See, oh, it's a sedative. Are you and his are you his accomplice in all this? Not at all. I am merely a resident of the fortress, and thus protecting it is my duty. You tell him. When Monsieur Nervulet asked me to come here, he told me that my job would be to take care of the well-being of everyone here. I am merely discharging my duties. Hey. But if you mean what you just said, then isn't Linny someone you should be looking after as well? Isn't he a resident here just like the rest of us? If you're close with Nouvellets, why not learn a thing or two about virtue from him? But I really am just doing what Monsieur Nervulet told me to do. Everything I did, I've done to protect them. Had I not, they would be in far more dire straits right now. Yeah. His Grace knows it too, right? Your Grace? Mind proving my innocence to Sure. Them? Pulls out the gauntlet. I would have beat the absolute shit out of you. <sighs> My dear Sijuin, whatever shall I do with you? Would it have killed you to just wait another minute or two? And I could have put well, him in this place. Really time after all. <sighs> the way you do things can be truly frustrating sometimes, Your Grace. I figured I should try to talk some sense into you. What are you talking about? What time? Take me if you want. Let them go. Mm hmm How touching. Can you just give me one more minute? Yeah. Bye -bye. Don't be like that, Your Grace. All right, everyone, calm down. Two more visitors will be arriving any time now. Oh, great. Two more visitors. Who are the visitors? I'll go get a cup of tea. Miss Sijuin, I leave Miss Lynette in your care. Hey! You... What are you doing? It'll be fine. I believe I hear footsteps. 
Oh, hello, hello. A familiar figure bursts into the room. Hey! Some space, please. Why? Ah, Miss Claren. <gasps> Friday! My door. My door. Friday. Friday. Get out of the fucking way, traveler. What's going on? What is Claren doing here? Hello. Work. <laughs> work, work, I'm sorry Angelica. I'm not kidding you, Mr. Linney. The tranquilizing effect will begin to wear off soon. Please take it easy in the meantime, though. Work, work. What happened to Fremine? Wasn't he diving just outside of the fortress? Why is he looking like... Like this? These symptoms, it can't be. Why'd the music get cut off? Flushed face, an accelerated pulse. He must have consumed <gasps> primordial seawater. Consumed? What did you say? Consumed primordial oh, no. seawater? Whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck does that mean? Talk about a tummy ache. Uh, please, make some space. I'll need to give Mr. Fremen a more thorough checkup. Your Grace. I'll leave the rest to you. Bro, does that mean that my guy is disappearing from the inside out? I'll talk to Clorand while you get from an A to where Clorand? Everything else can wait. All right. Clearly someone's left. Anyway. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Lenny's expression looks disgusted. It seems like he'd rather not uh, have seized when he touched Fremine. Still, he didn't stop her since it's obvious that uh, Fremine does require urgent medical care. Seizewing's examining Fremine carefully. She doesn't look too upset, which is a good sign. I hope Fremine will be okay. Uh, how is he? These symptoms are probably caused by an acute ingestion of a large amount of primordial seawater. Still, his condition is not critical. Acute ingestion of large... Does that make sense? Isn't a cute a little bit? By an a, a by a little bit ingestion of a large amount of primordial seawater. Is more sudden than small. Oh, thank you. Okay. And just anyway. Thank you. Of course, it would be best if he stayed for further observation. Let's leave him here for now and move him to the infirmary once he's recovered a bit more. Then why do we have I'm acute sorry. angles? I am aware that the infirmary may not be your favorite place in the world at the moment. We do only have a single clinic in the fortress, however. <sighs> hey, Appy, thank you for the sub. Why would he ingest a Zella, thank you for the sub. primordial seawater after leaving the fortress? How could that possibly happen? Please, look after Mr. Fremenet for the moment. I'll go fetch some medicine and a respirator. Oh, Welcome back, I'll Sakura. I'll take back with me. Where is she? How is she right now? Oh, she just took a nap in an empty room after I tranquilized her. If my calculations are correct, she should also be waking up right around now. You might not believe me, but His Grace and I actually made some snacks and tea for her. Lenny has finally begun to stop tensing muscles on his face. It seems that he trusts Siege what Siegewing just said. And it also seems that he cares more about fucking L Lynette than Fremine. <sighs> What's that look on your face? I thought I made good time on the way back. Oh, I'm just admiring your punctuality. Had you arrived just a few minutes later, Siegewing may have been forced to shoot Mr. Lenny again. How's the situation out there? The water has changed. It's pretty much as expected. The concentration of primordial seawater has increased so <gasps> No. Is the ocean becoming primordial seawater? Like all of it? Oh no. 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 Also, can I just say, that is a very hot outfit. I'm sorry. Oh, no. I was only out there a short time, so it wasn't too bad. But if one I love Clarence's design. Significant amount of time. Well, you can see how Oh, my God, that shot? Where was Badass. You found him? My mom! The abandoned zone at the end of the pipes. A good distance into the water. 
closer than I thought. He must have recognized it early on and tried desperately to swim back. Good on Locking him. the door was necessary. I don't think we could have saved two. Well, I did try to convince them that I had my reasons. Never seems to work, though. Well, yeah, I mean... It would probably work on Neuvillette. He has a knack for picking out who had good intentions, even when the outcomes were all terrible. Good on him. Mm. I love Neuvillette. It's a bad sign if you're having to plead your case to Neuvillette. Want some tea? Mm, not particularly. If you want to drink some that badly, just say so. Fine, I'd like to get some tea. Want me to get you a cup too, since I've already made it? Ah, I see instead of coffee, you're a tea man. Nice. Uh, might as well then, I suppose. Actually, do you have a towel? I would like to dry my hair. She's so cool. What do we think, guys? Is she a four star or five star? Don't answer that if there are leaks. Don't answer that if there are leaks. I, I just want assumptions. I'll be fine. They're all here now. Don't worry about me. Five star in my heart. Sure? You don't look all right. My hands and feet are still a bit weak, but that's probably just the residual effects. <laughs> Realistically, of the a four star because shot. they hate us. <laughs> back, everyone. Lenny. Oh. Traveler, Paimon, you're here too. Remine? Is he... Dead. He'll be fine. But for now, please help me lift him up. They're dead. <laughs> ah! I did not like that so uh, blah, blah, blah. I didn't like that sound at all. It actually sounded like he was choking on water. His breathing's beginning to slow down. Give me a hand and help me get him to the infirmary. Yeah, I'll take him from this side. On it. Traveler, Together. You seem pretty worried about him. Want to come with us? Very well. What about Risley? The Duke and Clarand are gone. They probably went to get some tea. The Duke will explain the truth in just a bit. Miss Cloran will need a break, since she only just returned from rescuing Fremenay out of the sea. I wonder if that's what they're working on. So you've love, so you've love, so you've Is Siegewing working on a cure? Thank you for the sub, Camos. Uh, is Siegewing working on a cure for the disappear? Like, kind of like a, an early ailment for like, if you're from Fontaine, like, you have to take this for the, uh, for the primordial sea. So then you don't turn into nothingness. Just what happened there. Ah, oh, man. I love the mystery of Fontaine. I love it. I love the mystery. I also, like, love just coming up with theories. Why the costume? Because Halloween! Because Halloween. Am I scary? Ah, ah, ah. I hope you know addition and subtraction. Behold. Hey, what's up, Mike? I've been good. Wait, what am I waiting for? Should I have talked to... Should I have talked to, uh, Behold. Risley or Clorind or something? More dialogue. God damn it, I knew it. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Squawn Fury. Well, you see, guys, I don't want to be rude and just, like, walk up the stairs and interrupt the meeting. Hello there, fellow justices. It is I, Sino, the fellow justice of Sumeru. How goes it, justice and justice? Could I attempt you with some sugar for your tea? Just a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. That's it. You motherfuckers made me come all the way up here for that. Could I attempt you with- That's it! 
That's it. I'm Risley now. And for my first order of business, I'm ending the stream. <laughs> Throw on the end screen. I swear, when I have 2.0, I'm gonna have an end screen. The wind rises. I'm gonna have an end screen just because of this. Swan Fury. Quit following me. Oh yeah, dude. Did you get your wisdom teeth removed? the worst kidney stones are worse but still <coughs> stop with the coughing asmr he's awake fremine how do you feel dead inside uh, lenny lynette we're all here uh, where am i Every time I see Fremine, I just want to play Bioshock. The fortress of Meripede, Mr. Fremine, and you are no longer in any danger. How do you feel? Don't push yourself if you're not feeling up to it. <laughs> Some of that fucking ending Traveling. is fire. Paimon, it's been so long. Uh, the sea. There's something wrong with the seawater. Oh, we know. We've been known. Shh, it's okay. We can talk about it after you've recovered. No, listen to me. This is really serious. There's primordial seawater. That's what I said. Seawater. I don't know why it's there, but no one should touch it. What happened after you snuck into the pipes? Pipes. Uh... Right, the pipes. It's all coming back to me now. Deep in the hundred acre wood. Am I playing as Fremine? Winnie the Pooh. I'm in. I'm in. Seems like this place has Yukata? been used in a long time. It looks abandoned. I love the music. Where could Master Child be? Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh. Ba -da 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 Ew. This is a trial for MA, by the way, not my for MA. Huh. This mechanism looks like it's been tampered with. Could he have done it? Yeah, you get him. Bum ba dum bum. Rotate. Man, I've been to Bellbog. Sounds like we're doing less diving and more climbing. It really is Bellabog all over again. Yeah, open world Bellabog. Hmm. It's getting stuck on something. Seems like I'll have to avoid those obstacles while I turn it. Bro, fuck off. You want to bring it down, rotate it, and then bring it back. This guy. That's almost as bad as chat making me go back for fucking... Oh, brother. Bum, 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 bum. How much do I got left? Probably like an hour, right? Into this quest. Probably have like an hour left. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Hippity hoppity. Yeah. 
We're going down, 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 down. This is where the water starts. Okay. Okay. Master Child probably dived into the water. I'll go take a look as well. Chat, this is a trialed Fremenay, not my Fremenay. Don't get it twisted. Hey, where's your helmet, buddy? Don't you put on a helmet when you start diving? Am I crazy? Where's your helmet, bud? The vegetation here is a bit more sparse. These traces aren't natural. A person must have left them. And recently... Oh, there are traces here, too. I need to keep going. Traces are gone, but I don't see where he could have gone from here. Hmm. Uh, wait, what the? Uh, uh, this is why you always bring your diving hat, bro. Uh, my heart is racing, and it's getting harder and harder to breathe. What's going on? No good. I have to get back. They still don't know anything about what's going on. If I turn back right now, I should still be able to make it. Child, hold my hand. I thought Fremenay's whole thing is that he can, uh, he doesn't lo lose a water sprint. The water stamina, like he could just swim for the rest of his existence. I can't die here. This is, this is bad. I'm feeling worse and worse. And I'm still Maybe I'm thinking of a water. different character. I have to push. Hey, there she is. Fremenay plus Nouvellet for Broken Swimming Team. There you go. And then he died. Mama! Sorry. Papa! Hmm. So, in other words... I killed a man! The trail you were following vanished, and you had no idea where Master Child could have gone. Yes, I have Sakura and the guy no that's Scar. There was place for him to have disappeared to. Hmm. Mm-hmm. That's right. I tried my best to swim back. But I had already put some distance between myself and the fortress, and I just couldn't find the strength to keep going. I probably passed out some time after that, and you know the rest. Miss Clarand brought you back, but we also don't know why she just suddenly appeared at the fortress, or why she went out to save you. True. Miss Clarand, you say? I must go thank her in person. You're still too weak from an A. You can go after you've had some more rest. True. Miss Lynette is right. I believe Miss Cloran will stay here as a guest for another few days. So there's no need to hurry. A guest? Then I can assume Risley was the one who invited her to come down here? You should ask His Grace about that. He'll be able to explain. Uh, go yeah. talk to him. It's about time he actually told us what's, what's going, going on. on what's going on here? Uh, no. Please go on without me. I don't want to leave just yet. Fair enough. Me. The logical part of my brain is aware that we're safe right now, but I still can't bring myself to leave. Both of you are just in danger. It's true. Understood. Then let's just sit together for a while. Wow. In that case, I'll leave the infirmary to you. The traveler and I are going to head out for now. Sibling love, I guess. Stay in here. I don't think you'll be disturbed. Thank you. Les douche To the forbidden zones The auto zone Hmm What will happen? What will happen? 
Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right, and we're going up, 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 up to the top. Hey, someone tell me what's going on. Excuse me. I take it Mr. Fremenet's condition has stabilized? To an extent. Of course. I wouldn't have left the infirmary otherwise. I've been expecting those two, but might I inquire as to the purpose of your visit, Miss Sejuin? I wanted to check up on Miss Cloran. How are you feeling? True. Mostly fine, I think. <laughs> Mainly wet. If you don't mind, I'd like to perform another quick physical exam. It'll just take a few minutes. Just a few minutes. All right. Thank you for looking out for me. I'll take my leave for now, then. Well, goodbye. Bitch. No, I'm just kidding. Well, want to explain yourself, Risley? Hmm. <laughs> Of course, but I'm not partial to the word choice of explain. How about enlighten? Enlighten? All right. What is this, religion? Uh, please enlighten us as much as you'd like. Mm, where should I begin? Clorand is from Fontaine. How about you start by asking me any questions you have? You can start with whichever one you'd like to get answered the most. Hmm. Then Paimon will begin. Did you know about Lenny's goals from the very beginning? I mean, mm, it's a fair no. question. I just knew they were Fatui operatives sent to the fortress by the Knave. As for their specific goals, I only figured those out as you made progress on your investigation. Hmm. You managed to monitor and stay ahead of them even though you didn't know what they were trying to do? They came here with ulterior motives. I'm quite adept at discerning what that kind of behavior signals. Why didn't you stop? Initially, I thought their goal was just to investigate Child's disappearance. Linny suggested that I had deliberately let him escape. But in truth, I didn't really do anything special to help or hinder him while he was here. Everything he did, from finding helpers to leaving this place, he did on his own. Of course, it's inevitable that the Knave would make a big deal out of her fellow Harbinger's unexplained disappearance. I'm also quite curious about where that Harbinger went. So I figured I might as well let the Fatui do their own investigative work. All I care about Fair is... Fair enough. Things. So you were Hello, hoping Lenny's group would just do chat. your work for Why you. You, know, then sign you make it sound like that's a bad thing. Too. Unfortunately, things didn't go Secrets as planned. Play get I have no I idea what that is. Assuming Fremenet has told you already, the ratio of primordial seawater around the fortress of Meripede is on the rise. So it's the just around. He's always been Lenny's target, and you got roped into that investigation after running into him. I began to intervene out of concern for your safety, and also to prevent the fortress from becoming entangled in more irksome matters. So it's only around the fortress. Is true that you're also a former criminal? Hmm. Now why would you put it like that? Isn't staying here all day and serving as the manager of the fortress a kind of sentence unto itself? Another form of prison? Damn. I just happen to have some support from the rest of the inmates. That's all. Damn. Oh! Here. Me, of course. I paid her good Mora to come down to the fortress for some field work. Hey, good shit. As a champion duelist, Miss Cloran could be considered to be an independent party. I needed to find an exceptionally capable person to help me get through the impending crisis. Impending crisis? And saving Fremenet was part of that crisis? Well, I mean, it's the only way they'll know. Think of it like that, yes. Credit where credit is due, that boy is quite adept at diving. Had conditions not been as hostile as they were, he probably would have found the missing Harbinger already. True, so the Forbidden Zone really exists. What's inside of it? That's not something you should be asking after. Novelette only asked you to investigate Child's whereabouts. Oh, come on. We can't be a little curious. Like maybe it's a certain Nothid that have gone missing? Hmm? Perhaps? Or, uh... You know, maybe something else? All I need to prove to you is that the Forbidden Zone had nothing to do with the Harbinger's disappearance. That should be clear now that you've spoken to Fremenet. But we've already uncovered that there's something wrong with the infirmary. And we've answered a bunch of questions that you threw at us. Isn't it about time that you answer our last question in return? You make a compelling case. Damn. Do you really want to know <laughs> Yes, the I do. I, I really want to know. Yeah, Paimon really wants to know. Even if the truth may not be pleasant? 
Hey. If I can save Fontaine from this bullshit, then yes. Follow me. <gasps> Yay! Answers! I love it when we get answers, chat. Genshin doesn't do that normally. Fontaine has been like, let's give answers, which is great. So. Ooh, secret stairs. Secret hey, stairs. And a whole basement behind it. It's not a secret door. It's a secret staircase. All right. Hold on. Good hiding stuff, Risley. It seems you've forgotten just what kind of place the Fortress of Meripede is. You sure about that? Damn it, Aki. Secret stairs. Secret stairs. Stand on the central plate. Wait, is there a secret mechanism or... Whoa! We're going down, down! Down the merry-go-round! Good, Shion. Good. So this. We're finally getting that tea. Honestly, for a place so well hidden, the Risley tea. See anything special? And that is. What a huge door! There are three such isolation gates in total. Generally speaking, I'm the only one who's allowed to go inside. Hence the name Forbidden Zone. Now, why is that? Apart from you being the warden. Yes, he is very hot. Um, wouldn't it be wild if he's like the one person that's not from Fontaine, which is why he's allowed? Am I correct to assume you're going to run on back and tell your little Fatui friends everything? Well, that depends. Well, I, Paimon wasn't thinking of keeping anything from them. <laughs> well, I'd advise you wait until you've seen the whole truth of this place for yourself before deciding whether or not to tell them. Yeah, I'm glad. All right, show me your secrets. I'm not gonna lie, this door kind of looks like... I don't know why, it just reminds me of the, uh... The, uh... What the fuck is that thing called? The... No, not the Chamber of Fucking Secrets. The, 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 the balance. The thing. From the courtroom. Um... Um, the thing. The thing. The thing. The thing. The thing. The oratrice. Thank you. I don't know the full fucking name. Huh. So there's a switch on the side. Stand back. Stand clear of the closing doors. Oh, come on. Whoa. They all just went up one by one. No shit. What's in that in the middle of that room? Go on, have a look. Uh, I'm scared. Am I going to see the heart of Fontaine? I'm noticing that I am playing as the traveler. Pew 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 pew. <laughs> what is that? This room is really empty with uh with nothing in here, which is quite strange on its own. There's also a device smack dab in the middle of the room, which looks like some kind of massive Swiss gate. I've been interested in what lies beyond that gate ever since I assumed leadership of the Fortress of Meripede. Of course, it would be unwise to recklessly open it, but it'd also be risky and negligent to simply ignore any potential danger that could be behind it. True. The readings on that dashboard have not budged since the day when I first laid eyes on this place. But over the past year, the needle has crept upwards from its original position, Likely because some parameter it's been tracking has changed, if only infinitesimally. Normally, I would have ignored it. But I happen to have some free time when I noticed it, so I investigated. The water pressure, that's what and I was thinking. what the reading could be tracking? Well, normally I would say the water pressure. The temperature is a good idea. But I would imagine the primordial sea count. Very reasonable guesses. I've considered both of those as well. Unfortunately, our dashboard is tracking something less ordinary. The temperature should vary with weather and climate changes, so for something that rarely shifts, the water pressure is more likely. We ran a few tests to increase the pressure from the outside, but the readings didn't change at all. Later on, a few more possibilities occurred to me, such as a potential yep, connection yep, with yep. the primordial sea. I began to make a few preparations awesome based on that hypothesis. You are an awesome and talented content creator. You are an awesome and talented thank you for being creator. super cool. Thank oh, well, thank you for the 27 cool months. Thank you, Yang. Over the past few days, the needle has moved again. 
With that and the symptoms that Fremenet displayed after leaving the fortress, I can now confidently conclude that the readings represent the concentration of primordial seawater in the sea nearby. The concentration well, why of nearby? primordial seawater? But we're already under the sea! And that is precisely the problem. We're at the bottom of the sea, and now we're surrounded by toxic seawater. Yep. Somehow, primordial seawater got mixed in, and the concentration is steadily rising. And primordial seawater is continually leaking into the sea. Yes. That's very likely. So, chat, what? remind me. the two of us, not even Novalak knows where the primordial sea could be, much less where we could find and plug a leak. Remind me, chat. Remind me. If someone from Fontaine gets touched with primordial seawater, shouldn't they technically vanish? Or was it that they experimented with the primordial sea, making it into something new, and that's why the vanishing started? Dissolve. So it is just raw primordial sea. Fuck. Then why did Fremenay not dissolve? Does that confirm that Fremenay is not from Fontaine? Because, like, I mean, technically, yes, they are siblings, but not... Because it's diluted? Oh. Because it's diluted. Because it's mixed with normal C. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Thank you. He still got sick. Yes, you are right. Which is why I was like, no, that doesn't. Okay. Oh. Oh. Seems like you figured it out. I believe the primordial sea lies directly beneath this sluice gate. Holy shit. For some reason, the primordial seawater levels have risen significantly, and it's now very close to us. Why? The indicators are now red. Although the gate still stands, some primordial seawater has already leaked out and mixed into the sea around us. If this continues, soon it will no longer be able to hold back the primordial sea and if the primordial sea is leaking through if this gate falls all the fontaine will fall with it the prophecy bro i got fucking chills yeah you know what the legends say if this place falls then everyone in fontaine will be turned into puddles in the span of a night dude the music the very That's subtle so pipes weird. Exactly. Your expression tells me you think this might be part of a vast, complicated conspiracy. To be honest, you might find the actual answer may be exceedingly boring. Well, it's it just that it. the secret of the Forbidden Zone had been long forgotten by the nation before I rediscovered it with my research. There's no single founder of the Fortress of Meripede in any traditional sense. What we know about its history has been left to us by the people who used to live here. Sure. When the previous Hydro Archon, Egeria, ruled the land, all convicted criminals from Fontaine were exiled. The people drove the criminals away like a wolf pack chasing away the banished. Ah, like a wolf. The Get it, like him. no sympathy of any kind from the people. They were exiled to the desolate seaside, where they experienced only pain, struggle, and the bone-chilling cold. Damn. Some of them began to repent and prayed to the Hydro Archon, asking if there was still anything they could do. The Hydro Archon took pity on them and said... You may go guard my secret deep underneath the waves. And so, leaning on the power of the mm. Hydro Archon, they gathered underneath the sea and began to build a fortress. They became a community down there in the deeps, and over the years helped it to grow. Interesting. As the number of exiles increased, more and more people joined the community. When the first group of exiles died, they left the yet unfinished fortress to their successors. The Hydro Archon continued to lend her support, allowing the fortress and what it stood for to continue growing ever larger. Before long, this dark underwater fortress became the sinners. Hey, thank you for the hundred biddies. And with that, the, the people here stopped referring to the fortress as a prison. I wonder why they saw themselves as repenting sinners who would regain their freedom once they had sufficiently redeemed themselves. Interesting. And what is her secret? The secret that the Primordial Sea is going to drown everyone in the future? But as time went on, people also realized that the fortress was a lonely place. Once they had gotten used to life here, they could no longer feel comfortable living in the overworld. 
Once they had finished serving their sentences, some people left and some others chose to stay. They'd find some <laughs> idle Sinner, I don't think like that, Jet. Relax. Fade away with the ancient secrets of the past. After many, many centuries, few people still remember the reason for the fortress's founding. Now they just see it as an integral pillar of Fontanian mm. society, as the place where criminals deserve to be sent. Yeah. Now and again, researchers manage to break one law or another and live out their days in the fortress. I learned all this from an elderly historian. Everyone else just thought he'd made it all up. But now you know every part of that history is true. Fuck, dude. And my cosplay is my Indeed. Halloween costume. My stume. It's just as the prophecy says. If this gate fails, then everyone will be dissolved into the sea. Bro. Do you believe in the prophecy? In prophecy? To be frank, not really. But sadly, that hasn't stopped this prophecy from proving all too accurate. Yeah. Prophecies are troublesome things. Just hearing one will create the first wave of panic. Seeing signs of it will bring about the second, and actually witnessing it in real time, the third. So is the Duke of Meropide. Meropide. Just what do you plan to do about it? Let's go somewhere else. I want to show you something. This is the Ridesley I wanted, by the way. I'm glad the uh, beginning was a facade. Hey, Kiwi, think of the 100 biddies. Yeah, no, Joe this kills it. it. Your Grace, perfect timing. The results from our last round of experiments have... Yeah, 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 they know. Wait, Jury, he's not alone. Huh? Lorvina? Well, 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 I was kind of close. No need to panic, you two. I've already told them about our plan. I was close. What? After you warned us not to tell a single soul about any of this? I'm skeptical as well. Are you sure they are trustworthy? You know who they are? The results speak for themselves, don't they? These two may already know more than you could ever imagine. All right, then, if your grace insists. All right, nerdy this point Dexter. Enough, so I'll trust them for now. Shut up! Well, how about some reintroductions? This is Jurier, one of the highest ranked researchers from the Fontaine Research Institute. He used to work under Edwin. I trust that you've heard of Edwin. Ed who? He's the one who blew the whole institute sky high. Everyone knew he was a bit crooked in the head, but you're not a local, so I guess it's possible for you not to have heard of him. Edwin's main areas of research were archaeum and gravimeters. As his assistant, Jurier is quite familiar with them as well. I hired him to be my technical consultant. You... you want to blow up the fortress of Merope? Ah, what a lovely idea. I'm already <laughs> imagining <laughs> it in my head. <laughs> That gotta admit, is I'm hilarious. As well. Guys, focus! Focus! Ah, the thought of blowing this place to smithereens. Hmm. Bliss. <laughs> <laughs> that task Thank master over there is Miss Lorvine, and is also one of my technical consultants. While Jurier used to be Edwin's assistant, she used to be Jurier's assistant. Ooh, are they together? Was that really necessary? See, everyone keeps asking this question. Are you too sure you're not a couple and just using your work as a convenient cover? Wow! <laughs> Ridesley, are you sure you're just not... Are you sure you're not a couple with Nouvellet and just using your work as a convenient cover? Is that what we're doing? Ah, uh, Ridesley? Ah, uh, ah, uh, is that what... Anyway. <laughs> I... Your Grace, I am not in a relationship with this man. If I dated her, I'd officially be madder than Edwin. All right, Mandark, relax. Jeez, I forget I said anything then. Little Follow Kitty, me. thank you for the raid. Whoa, there's another door that goes right up. Yeah, no shit. Your constant amazement makes it seem like the fortress can do anything. He just called you stupid, Paimon. You gonna take that? But Paimon really Damn, that that's Star Wars wipe. Cool. Ew, that is some muddy water. Is this just a normal room? Well, let's spice it up a bit. Ooh, spice it up. And here you go. Whoa. What is that? What a huge ship? Bro, is that the Golden Mary? No, I'm just kidding. This is also a production zone that Paimon's never seen before. What's going on? How much do you know about Fontanian history? Bro, are we making an arc? Uh, not much at all. Are we saving Fontaine with the arc? 
Well, then maybe you haven't heard the story of ancient Lemuria. To give you a quick rundown, Fontaine used to be ruled by the Lemurian dynasty. According to legend, the Lemurian king Remus came to this land after being inspired by divine revelation and found the seer Sibylla, who had taken on the form of a golden bee. A bee? Taking the golden bee with him and bee? riding on a huge ship, the Fortuna. He created his nation above the surging waves. Is he saying it like an L? Yeah, Lemurian king. I don't know why. <laughs> what did this easy day to the bee guy? What the bee? <laughs> he called his nation Lemuria and used the Fortuna to incessantly search for new tribes and islands, calling on them to join his empire. There's a ship in the story too? Where there's water, there'll be ships. People believe that hope can always be found at the end of a voyage. Do you believe that too? Man, the origin of the Sienjo? Point, Crazy. I think. As you've already seen, I have a whole factory's worth of labor, materials, and technology at my disposal. Certainly can't hurt to give it a try. So the moment I began to speculate that the primordial sea might lie underneath the gate, I also began this project. Smart. Were you inspired by the legendary Fortuna? Hmm, maybe. Fontanians need something to hold on to to cope with the impending disaster. Yeah, my guy said cope. It's a plan for the ages. Can't you share your plan with everyone? Were the workers to find out the truth behind this ship, riots would destroy the fortress faster than any catastrophe. As the fortress's administrator, I'd never make such a reckless call. All right, that's enough talking for now. I'll need another three cups of tea to soothe my throat. We get it. You Do care you about vocal health. <laughs> Seems like you're good. Come on, I'll take you back. What are the chances a child is on that boat right now just chilling? Why is Sayu in the count outfit? It's my Halloween doom! Oh, uh, thank you so much. No worries, but don't forget, it's up to you whether or not you want to share what you just saw. What you do from here on out will likely affect those three as well. Mm. He means that my actions will now just now will decide the next step Lenny's group takes. If I want to tell Lenny the truth, I must make him understand that we cannot afford excessive yeah, conflict right we'll now. Put a lot of thought into it for sure. Yeah, we will. Great. We ain't telling him shit. I look forward to what happens next. I ain't telling him shit, chat. Wait a minute. That's a season. Oh, fuck. Don't worry, we'll do the Nouvellet quest on stream. We're not gonna do it today, but we will. We're back! Welcome back. Do you want a cup of tea? <laughs> no, but uh, Warden Ridesley would. Huh. Actually, now that you mention it, I just remembered something now. Yes, what did you remember? While I was sedated. I could still barely Don't wanna be sedated. talking next to me. They were discussing everything from the leaves to the water and even the teacups themselves. Hmm. Must have been Risley and Sishween. Yeah, I heard one male voice and one female, so it should have been the two of them. They really were just talking about brewing tea. Act four, I tea. We really can't make sense of this place. Neither so, can we. Traveler, Paimon. Were you able to learn anything from Risley? Yeah, he explained everything. Why the fuck would you say that, Paimon? Then would you mind checking your answers against my speculations? Lenny sounds a lot more like his old self. Feeling better now? Yeah, I took the time to rest. So I'm feeling a lot more relaxed now. Nobody else is around, and Miss Sijuin is also busy with something or other. So let's just talk here. So we're just going to give you all, all the right. info? Then I'll posit my theories. I asked myself three questions. Firstly, why was Fremenet affected by the primordial seawater? It was because he dove into the sea. My theory is, the long-lost primordial sea is probably very close to the fortress of Meripede. Uh, I mean, that's a fair one Whoa. to say. He's good. He got that right so on we're telling head. them everything? Bro, what? That's our Lenny. Secondly, 
Risley's attitude changed dramatically during the course of our stay here. He ignored us completely at first. Bro, then don't tell him us. everything. Why? I spent quite a long time thinking about this. If he has been monitoring the Fatui since the very beginning, he probably ignored us at first because he was hoping we could find Master Child for him. Okay. What's more, the Fortress of Meripede is not part of Fontaine's court system, nor does it report to Udex Nervilet. Risley is basically the king of a no man's land. As sure. long as the fortress doesn't do anything about Master Child's disappearance, Father can use it to pressure the Fontaine authorities. And while the two factions are pitted against each other, Risley will be free to move between the parties of interest. <laughs> what? If I had to guess, he probably has something that he's working on himself. It's likely related to the secret of the infirmary, but I just can't think of what it could be. Man, don't tell him everything. You're super smart. <laughs> Thanks so much. Then finally, there's the last question. If Risley does have a plan, what could it be? All I know for now is that his plan probably has something to do with the changing nature of the seawater. He's even gotten Cloran to help him out. Uh, Cloran. That can't be the full extent of what he's doing. There's probably a secret passageway behind the block in the infirmary, and there's something big in the fortress that most people here never get to see. He has a bargaining chip, and it could be important mm. enough for Father to deal with him directly. Okay. I don't have enough information, so I have no idea what his chip might be. But let me guess. Hmm? You have the last piece of the puzzle. What his chip? Chip, 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 chip. Might be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Chip, 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 chip. <laughs> After some liberation. You god damn it! While sharing what you saw, you emphasize that now is not the time for. <sighs> I can't believe it. I hate him. The sea will engulf everyone. Just like the prophecy said. I wouldn't have told them, but that's just me! Could Risley have wanted to meet Father to figure out a way to deal with this crisis? If you remember, I once mentioned that Father sees the House of the Hearth as her base of operations, and she truly wants to resolve the crisis. But how could Risley have known that? Or perhaps he didn't know, and just wanted to bring Father over to his side? Which could be why he said he just wanted to negotiate. Yeah, that makes sense to me. I understand your concerns as well, Traveler. I'll figure out a way to pass this on to our father. No matter what, we're on your side. You fucking better be. The two of you have already aided us far too much. We probably wouldn't be standing here right now if not for you. If you fucking, if your father tells you to betray me, I will gut you and then I'll marry your father. All right? Remember that. Okay? If you ever need anything else going forward, please come to the House of the Hearth at any time. Why were you moving your head? I'm sorry. Though you may not share the sentiment, after all that we've gone through together, the three of us basically see you as family now. You have my gratitude. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you for protecting Linny when it really mattered. And thank <laughs> so you for I sharing the secrets of the fortress with us. <laughs> I didn't think you were going to do it. What? What, chat? <laughs> you may call her father, but you are about to call me mommy. <laughs> you are about to call me mother. Uh, why are you being so formal all of a sudden? <laughs> Don't mention it. We can work together again if necessary. Your strength, you might not need our help at all. Stop talking! But if you are ever in danger, we will try our best to protect My you. My gremlin ass laugh. Aw, the sound of that makes Paimon feel all warm and safe inside. Dude, I am also the hungry. What was that? Uh, I I ordered Paimon, my food, chat. Don't worry. Paimon's hungry. Yo, same. Oh, uh, you've done so much already. Go get some food. Yeah, damn right. All right, then we'll catch you guys another time. Goodbye. I really thought that was the end of the quest. What else could be shown to me? You got a Risley trailer too? Huh? Did a Risley trailer drop? No, we haven't checked the Star Rail update. That'll be tomorrow. New trailer? All right. Let me finish the quest and then we'll watch it and then I'm going to end the stream. Just now. Oh, my boy.
All right, let me let me finish this quest and then we'll watch it. Time for din din. Make sure to you to wash your hands. Uh, if you don't, you're a disgusting freak. Are you here for dinner too, Miss Yijuin? Mm-hmm. And I'm taking the opportunity to prepare Miss Cloran's dinner as well. Yes, yes. Huh. You're right. She's actually sitting in the fortress cafeteria. Thanks a lot. So what would you like to eat? Uh, can I have something to eat? Can I have something to eat? No. Yep, you can. I've already talked to our chef, Mr. Wolsey. It's all on me today. So you yeah. can whatever you'd like. Hell yeah. Then I'll have the tastiest stuff you'll have to offer. Me too. Don't forget Paimon. Taste is better than no size. Just leave it to me. After a while, the meal is seizuring. Seizuring order. Do you, uh, okay. Seizuring also brings. You also understand? Okay. Yeah. What was that? Oh, so delicious. Hmm. Free dinners are the absolute best. Is this how it feels to be freeloader? Yes. Wait a second. We did do plenty of work after all. Yes, we did. And by we, you mean me. Delicious. I feel like I'm going to pass out. <laughs> Exquisite. Thank you. Besides the milk, uh, I mean, everything was super delicious. Exquisite. Oh, I'm so glad to see you all so happy. Oh, see the expression on your face just now? But the muscle here just moved. Which suggests that you're feeling quite relaxed at the moment. I am. Sijuin? Do you do this to help your patients or to better understand human beings? A bit of both, I suppose. I'm a melazine, which means I'm very different from human beings. I must know what you're thinking if I want to take good care of you. But why do you look human if you're a melazine? You're really good at taking care of people. Even though you're so short, you still talk and act like an older sister. Hey! What the fuck, Paimon? You're shorter than her! Really? You're reminded of an older sister? <laughs> That's great to hear. Oh, and what did you mean back in Risley's office? When you said that you were protecting Linny and his siblings as well. Oh. Risley oh, would have beat the shit out of him. I just asked his grace to look out for those children. Especially that diver boy. I was getting a bit worried after hearing that something was wrong with the water. Thankfully, Glorand is very strong and managed to save him in the nick of time. His grace also sealed the pipes after Glorian left. Oh, he sealed sure that, that pipe, all right. Huh? Chase after his brother. Although the path was blocked, we still stationed some guards there to stop anyone from approaching. They were instructed to only open the door once Miss Glorand had returned. Thank oh, goodness. And I was keeping an eye on Mr. Linney as well. We had to press him, but we couldn't allow him to be in any real danger. You were all super considerate and really thought everything through. Wow, it's almost like you're geniuses. <laughs> It's just what we do down here at the fortress. At least this has been his grace's style for as long as he's been the leader. Thanks a lot, leader. Oh, I really wish Monsieur Nervula would come down here more often, too. I feel like he'd like it here. With all the darkness and chaos. Huh? But that doesn't make sense at all. It's hard to imagine Nervulet outside of his office. Unless... Get a good night's rest, you two. You both worked very hard. Is that the end? It's not the end? What else is there, man? We've we've unlocked the secrets. What else is there? Alright, I'll go up. What, are we gonna get another... Are we gonna be that so raven and get a vision of child's whereabouts? That so child, it's the Fatui I can see. That so child, it's so mysterious to me. That so child. All right. The best is yet to come. I'll believe it when I see it. Let's go. Let's knock the fuck out. All right, Baimon. What the hell are you doing in my bed? There's another bed over there. Get the fuck over there. Ah, she really immediately fell asleep. Oh, delicious. We share a bed? Bro, that's For weird. 
Fur free. Good night. I'm waiting for the someone to tap my face. Wake up. Out of my way. Get out of my way. Oh. What happened? Why is everyone running? <gasps> no. No idea, but something must have happened. Stop asking. No. Uh -huh. Who's yelling? Well, I mean, we don't have to worry. We're not from Fontaine. What's that sound? Do you hear that sound? That beautiful sound. I'm on, wake up! Ruh -roh. I hear sirens. Do you hear that sound? Anyway. <laughs> that beautiful sound. No time to explain, oh, no. mate. Goodbye. Mate? All right, Aussie. I'll see you later. Uh, uh, hey, wait! What's wrong with these people? They won't even talk to us. Yeah, they hate us. Uh, there you are. Hey, if it isn't Quasar, hey, what's good, buddy? Oh, my goodness. You got a grape? Oh, thanks. Do you <laughs> know how to we came here especially to inform you. Something seems to have gone terribly wrong just now. His grace is telling everyone to evacuate and get out of here. Oh shit. Lavarun was saying you two are new here and you don't have many friends, so you might slip through the cracks. Haven't you heard all the stories like that? An evacuation is successfully completed. Yet you only find out once you do a head count that one or two people are missing. And you're the twos! Wait, weren't you the one who brought that up? Why is it suddenly my idea? Hey, shut up! Okay, whatever. The point is you should come with us. You said his grace said to uh, evacuate outwards? Yeah, he said to get as far away as possible, upwards and outwards. Ah, shit, that's because his ship ain't finished. Then that means whatever happened must have happened down below. Oh, no, isn't the gate at the very bottom? We gotta get going. Hey, you two belugas, get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. I gotta go save my, uh, save my cake. Yeah, you Fontanians, get the fuck out of here. Hey, be careful. Hey, don't worry. I got I got a cake to save. Attention, all passengers. Please stand clear of the closing doors. Upwards and outwards. Up and down and all around. Hey, yo, you guys love that Sonic song? Up and down and all around. Up and down and all around. Hey, where are you guys going? You guys don't like my jam? Up and down and all around. <laughs> oh, shit, cutscene. Shut the fuck up, everyone. Stop talking. I did. They're here. Damn. Just like I said. Dude, her eyes. You're just in time. Perfect. But be ready to run. Oh. Hey! That's my boy! Oh, shit. Bro, what? Risley, don't get wet! You'll get a tummy ache! This man hitting them with a one punch. Nice. It's gonna crack. It's gonna crack. It's gonna crack. It's gonna crack. It's too much water pressure. Yeah. Dude, I didn't know we were playing Splatoon. Dude, these cutscenes just continue to look better. Look at my guy running. Three, two, one. Nice. Nice. Hell yeah. Slide! Oh my god, he's so hot! This won't hold it for long. Find Nuvillette. Tell him the defenses are about to collapse. Then what will happen to you? Until he arrives, we're the last line of defense. Monsieur Nuvillette! Monsieur Lafayette! 
The gate. How long do you think it'll hold? Five minutes. That depends on us. <laughs> They're so cool. <laughs> oh, Monsieur Nouvellet! Monsieur Lafayette! Nouvellet? Why are you here? I came to cry. Traveler. I need you to head to the Opera House immediately. Huh? Farina will soon be meeting with the Knave there. You must protect Farina oh. and make sure she doesn't spend too much time alone with her. Okay, you can explain everything to me later. Will do. You have my sincerest gratitude. What the fuck is happening? There is no way the Knave planned all this out. There's no way- There is no conceivable fucking way that the Knave and Child planned this out all to fuck with Farina and get the Gnosis. There is no conceivable fucking way that the reason we can't find Child is because he tampered with the fucking Primordial Sea shit. And there's no fucking way. 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 Give me to the opera Epicles. The wind rises. The wind rises. Yes. Did it take me longer? Sigh, shush, continue. Fine, fine. I'll stop with my theories and I'll let the, uh, I'll let, I'll see how this plays out. Swallow fury. Look at all these fatui. Hey, was that my boy Vlad? <laughs> Yo, honest. Look, is that Vlad? There are a ton of fatui and Palais Marmonia people over there. The knave is probably here already. We need to hurry. Oh, hold on. Are you two the traveler in Paimon? Monsieur Nervalet has left instructions. Please follow me. Though I'm sure he's already explained, this should be a mostly cordial conversation, unlikely to give rise to violence. But it would be most appreciated if you could protect Lady Farina to the best of your abilities. Did you know there's a melusine downstairs uh, that looks human? I don't know if they knew, chat. There's my father. To my mother. Oh, Farina? Oh, so you two are the honored guests Miss Farina mentioned. Hello there. Of course, of course. How could they not attend a meeting such as this? I must always have two or more guests at my dessert table. Otherwise, the occasion would be too lonely and unbecoming of my station. This act, how long will you keep it up, Verena? It is my pleasure to make your acquaintance, Traveler. I have heard much of your accomplishments. I am the Knave, one of the eleven Fatui Harbingers. You know what would have gone dummy right is that here? The bite of 87? This would have been so much better if this was the first time we saw her in the game. Just a thought, I feel because they showed her at the beginning, it's this moment isn't as crazy as it could have been. But I feel like, because the way they, they framed it is like, this is the first time you're supposed to see her. So, that's just me. So this is the knave, the head of the house of hearth, of the hearth, and the Linny sibling's father. She certainly does not seem easy to deal with. Pleasure to meet you, too. I've already prepared seats for you. Come, sit beside me. Hey, what's up? Uh, bro, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is Jing Liu in my chat? Yo, gosh, what are you doing here? <laughs> oh, you know. Uh, hey, how's it going? We're playing Genshin. We're, uh, literally... Uh, funny to seeing you here. I know. We'll be, uh, pulling for Jing Liu tomorrow. But today, we decided to catch up on the Archon Quest for Genshin Impact. And we've just met Father. Believe it or not, not this character. Perhaps you two are unaware this of character is Father. Do things. You see, we actually recently agreed to get together for tea when we had the time. Oh, well, that's nice. You bless my pulse. Chat, we're losing every 50-50 tomorrow. 
Hot? Yes, I also agree. She is very attractive. I said I would be the mother if she was father. See this? This is a limited type of confectionery that Miss Farina simply adores. There are only 16 slices sold every day. Here, why don't you and Paimon have a taste? <laughs> why? Don't mind if I do. She seems friendly enough, but that can't be all there is to her. The Nave is a force to be reckoned with. I should be very cautious around her. Traveler, what do you think of this cake? Are you pleading for help, Farina? It's pretty good. It's quite tasty, and I think Paimon agrees too. That's good to hear. So what Child said was on the mark after all. You do share a taste in desserts with Farina and I. Ah, so you've spoken to Child. I see. My child should have no reason to have said something like that. I wonder how he's doing nowadays. You must have heard, right? He's suddenly gone missing. I'm really worried about his safety, you know. Here's to hoping that he's an excellent swimmer. <laughs> Bitch. You did it. Did you do it? How'd you do it? Dude, she... Mmm, she, she's like, mm, man, it sure would be a shame if the tower just suddenly flooded for some weird reason. Uh, since we're talking about him, I feel like I should add something. His martial prowess really looked certainly pretty impressive. Yeah. Yeah, you tell him, Farina. Good comeback. Farina looked quite nervous. There must be some kind of bad blood between her and the knave. So you're also familiar with his aptitude for fighting, Miss Farina. Oh, right. I almost forgot. Child was subdued by Udex Nuvillette right in front of you. Here's what I'm saying. This is why I think this would have been a great introduction to the Nave. Because there's a bit of mystery to her right here. When she was talking to Nuvillette and Farina, she seemed just like a person. She seemed like it's like, I'm here for negotiations, yes. Hi. And here she's like, oh... Okay, then. I don't know. That's just me. This is a great... Honestly, like, to me, this is the real introduction to her. Against ordinary people, my colleague would never be on the back foot. But alas, he just never imagined he'd run into such a person. Hmm. I must express my admiration for Monsieur Nouvellette. I mean, just to find a few leads on his whereabouts. Hmm. Coming from you, that's... Not surprising at all. Uh, but I thought you would be happier to hear the news. Of course, but it's still a bit of a shame. You see, I would have been far happier had I received this news somewhat earlier. As you well know, a long time has passed since Child disappeared. Uh... <laughs> Don't make her nervous. <laughs> sure that child is still alive um, oh and just how do you know that um, because uh because we found evidence that proved he left the fortress of meripede and where did he go after leaving the fortress well did he take the fucking gnosis i'll kill that kid Oh no, Paimon's statements just left us wide open. The fortress of Meripede lies deep beneath the waves. Unless he pranced right out of the main gate, he Paimon, must you need to stop it. talking! Do you have any proof that he surfaced safely? We do not. But there was also no evidence that he's been injured or killed. Oh, that is good news, at least. His sister Tonya sent a letter to Fontaine not too long ago. Since he was unfortunately unavailable, I picked it up on his behalf. Do you have any idea how he usually writes back to his family? Dear Tonya, your letter made me feel like we were still enjoying our time in Snezhnaya together. I'm currently admiring the scenery on the streets in front of the Opera House. Is it something like this that? This manipulation is going dummy! She's turning up the pressure. I'm not sure if I'll be able to convince her, but I can at least try to distract her from Farina. That sounds good to me, yes. All letters tend to follow the same few formats anyway, right? As long as the contents are accurate, it doesn't matter so much how it's written or how it's worded. All right, I'm gonna need both uh -huh. Paimon and Farina to kindly shut the fuck up and let me 
do the talking, okay? Because you guys are dropping the ball here. What happened? Hold on. The water in the teacup is shaking. There's no way they can feel the pressure from Meropied. Hmm. I suppose this is also a sign of things to come, Miss Farina. Huh? Uh, I don't quite understand oh, no. what you're trying to say. Have we entered into the next stage of the prophecy? Oh. <laughs> what? Huh? What is happening? My boy! My thanks to you both. I will take it from here. <laughs> what? Sure you don't need a hand? Quite sure. Wow. So, what's your secret, huh? Uh, let me guess. You're a dragon? Nah, who knows? Maybe it's just your sense of responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. Would it affect Nouvellet? That was, that was cool. Bro. This is some full metal alchemist type shit. That's they my king. Come when the prophecy is fulfilled and the waters burst forth. But it is not this day. Hey! This ancient power could easily obliterate an entire race. A tsunami of fury would unleash endless catastrophe. Oh my god. <sighs> that is my king. Forgive me for overruling it. Bro. Ray Chase is goaded. Holy shit, man. You're thinking more of the doctor? Like Doctor Who? A hundred percent. I'm right. so excited for that to come back. Seems like the problem inside has been suppressed. Let me guess. Smash. We're safe for now. <laughs> for now. Indeed. But only for now. Only for now, for bet. now. You owe me a present. Uh, very well. It was indeed just as you said. You made a bet? Yeah, and I won. We made a bet on the size of your entourage. Cloran thought you wouldn't come down by yourself. I figured you would have at least brought a few people along for appearance's sake. It appears I underestimated just how confidential the mission was. Shouldn't you have gotten used to confidential missions by now? That's just how the courts operate. So what gift must the loser give? Tea? True! Mm. He already has tons of tea in his office. I'm thinking about a set of legal codices. That wouldn't happen to be a dig at my lack of legal awareness, would it? <laughs> well, I'm sure his grace doesn't consider the fortress to be outside the law. I was under the impression the residents of a place like this would be uninterested in the legal codices. <sighs> that was obviously a joke. Hmm. Maybe be funny next time. Anyway, you've still got some unfinished business to attend to in the overworld, correct? No need to stay here if you have a pressing matter. We all know you can't leave Palais Mermonia for long. Thank you. Why not? I hope everything went smoothly with the Fatui Harbinger. Why not? Why can't he be gone to for too long? Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> I must say, we've spent long enough playing house. Huh? Miss Farina. As the Hydro Archon, I am sure you understand the exact meaning of the phenomenon we just witnessed. Or should I say, that's what I originally thought. But looking at your expression, was I wrong? 
And you haven't a clue. And you what haven't got you a clue. What are you trying to say? At this point, I don't think there's any more need to speak as diplomatic representatives. Allow me to speak to you now as just a Fontanian. You know the prophecy by heart, and also that every part of it is being proven true. Yet, here you are relaxing, drinking tea, and eating desserts as if it's all nothing more than a few stray bugs in your garden. Do you really think that's acceptable? Yeah, get a rest! Sorry, go on. The prophecy's hanging above our necks like a guillotine. Every faction is looking for a way to either avert the disaster or save their own. Even the orphans of the House of the Hearth have devoted everything to saving their homeland. Jesus. But you? It beggars belief just how nonchalant and carefree you have been. From the very beginning, you, the god Fosalor, you have utterly failed to take action. You have failed this city. Sorry, go on. You're wrong. I've never ignored the prophecy, nor have I just been passing the time in self-indulgence. Retract your accusation and stop doubting the wisdom of the gods with such absurd conjectures. I am not alone in my doubts, you know. All the children of Fontaine may be harboring the exact same thoughts right now. Oh, great Hydro Archon. How are you going to save them? Save Damn. us? How are the people you've sworn to protect supposed to survive in a land that will soon disappear beneath the waves? Ow. I have my ways, and I've been working on them for all this time. Even if you look down upon me, you have no right to judge me. Fontaine will be saved. Even, even if I still cannot see the true future right now, as long as I continue on as I am, I will be able to hold my head up high. Yeah, you tell him. Karina's not acting like her usual self. She's usually seriously refuting the knave's accusation. She means what she says. She's not putting a front. Yeah, she's not. Then I ask you, Miss Farina, just what have you been working on? Where can we see it and what is it doing to help? I... Ooh. Rebuttal? So that will... Uh, oh. Or can she really not tell us? She was so full of conviction and confidence just now, but now she's deflated like a pot balloon. I imagine it has to do with Nouvellette. My machinations are just like the prophecy itself. They will only reveal themselves at the fated time. It is just that beings like yourselves are unable to perceive them as of yet. And that's the front. Mm, I see. As a god, the proof of your labor always lies beyond prying mortal eyes. Damn. Will they ever explain why her eyes are like this? Allow me to be so bold as to ask another way. Would it be possible for you to tell us the parts of your plan that are not confidential? Such as your emergency response plan for the impending disaster? Oh. You know, I know that Ridesley has that plan, but like, I wonder if it's Ridesley's and not like a collaboration between Farina and Nouvellette, Ridesley and... Never mind! Oh no, Farina. This ain't looking good for you, champ. Oh, that look in your eyes. Have you not even prepared one of those? Don't worry, rightfully he's got your back. Oh no. He's he's on it. He's on it. You've got one if you don't even know it. The the emergency response plan is also strictly confidential. I mean, technically it is. Then allow me to jog your memory. Miss Farina, what is the purpose of your oratrice mechanique d'analyse cardinal? True. And what do you plan to do with the massive amounts of indemnidium that has accumulated over the years? Indem who? The oratrice? It, it's just like it appears to be. Hmm. So you also have no idea. If I'm not mistaken, someone's using it to prepare for something. But unfortunately, it would seem that someone is not you, Miss Farina. No, Farina. 
You're getting cooked. Like the pyro vision she has, she's cooking you. Bro, please fight back. I first caught wind of this when Linny tried to investigate the Oratrice in the Opera House. You see, even just getting close to the core contaminated him with an extremely large amount of indemnidium. What the fuck is indemnidium? Chat, help me out here. But even if that had nothing to do with you, then what could you possibly be working on, oh great Hydro Archon? It's their power source? The energy source? Okay. Interesting, okay. Oh, right. I almost forgot. Udex Nouvellette is not at the tea party with us today. Miss Farina, I suppose you must have ordered him away to take care of some troublesome business. Also, the way she said Nouvellette sounded like the most perfect way to say Nouvellette in my life. Ah, uh, yeah, yes. Oh that my exactly god. Right. Please keep it a secret. Farina, at least act better. Of course I will. Although, I must say, Miss Farina, you seem quite insecure without the Udax by your side. Oh, very well. Let's stop that conversation here. There are still a few slices of cake left, so please help yourselves, everyone. Oh my god, I love her. These aren't topics I can speak about. I don't even know what Nouvellet's task was. If I had to guess, he probably went down to deal with a surging primordial sea, but can he really deal with it all by himself? And Farina being truthful? Or not? Traveler, I heard that you were recently commissioned to handle a few matters on behalf of the Udex. Why don't you take an extra slice of cake? Those who work hard deserve gratitude and praise. <laughs> Thanks, Daddy. I, I mean, Father. I'm just gonna eat my cake. You too, Paimon. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, thank you. Paimon will take you up on that offer. <laughs> what? You guys didn't like that joke? Oh, come on! <laughs> we worked hard for this! <laughs> The name proceeds to change the topic and brings up a number of. All right. Oh, Paimon, super full. That cake was great. Man, Farina, you got cooked, bro. We're living it easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if it's on my tea table, it must be of the highest quality. Uh, yes, and we must thank the Nay for bringing these over as well. Oh wait, she brought these over. Oh, we're poisoned. We're fucked. You're welcome. I'm sure the cake also felt greatly honored to be featured at Miss Farina's table. And I was merely catering to Miss Farina's tastes, seeking a chance to chat over tea. <laughs> she only gets menacing when talking to Farina. Mm, it is getting late. Why don't we call it a day? There are still a few matters that I need to take care of, so I must take my leave now. Another 45 days in Mirabine. Fuck! Very well. <laughs> We'll end it here. Mind seeing me off, traveler. We could use the opportunity to discuss child before I must be on my way. Of course. Are you gonna push me to the wall? Paimon's coming too. So I'm okay with that. Hey, Farina, you good? <sighs> the tea party turned out to be even more difficult than I'd imagined. Huh? Ahem, why are you looking at me like that? Is something the matter? If there's nothing urgent, then I shall be retiring for now. Okay. Just making sure you're okay. <gasps> Damn. She went by quick. <sighs> Do your comedy again? I can't. They they limited me to just ether. I can't do I can't do the comedy special with ether. Hmm. Interesting. Follow the knave, but I don't see the knave. Oh, there she is. All right. Question I'm me. I'm glad that you were willing to come with me. Of course, child was just an excuse. I have no interest in your dealings with him. Uh, I figured it was. That's what Paimon thought. <laughs> All right, Paimon, shut the fuck up. Let the adults talk, please. What do you want to say? You 
lent your aid to the children of the House of the Hearth, as their father, I would like to express my gratitude. Oh. Um, there's no need. I didn't think that's what you wanted to talk about. Do I look like an irresponsible father to you? <laughs> well. <laughs> the House of the Hearth is very important to me. You should know that I care deeply about my children. <laughs> well, I don't know about any responsible, but, uh... <clears throat> anyway, was there nothing else you wanted to say? That was all. Formal topics should be discussed in formal settings, and informal topics in informal settings. Okay. Then, let me be as informal as possible. God- Sorry, not justified enough. Hold on. <clears throat> God damn, you look hot as fuck! Anyway, proceed. I know you just returned from the fortress of Meripede. Relax, I have no intention of trying to get anything out of you. Linny, Lynette, and Fremine are still there, and I trust their judgment and abilities. They've all been working very hard and have always done all they can to fight back against anyone who tried to stop them, especially Linny. You're not gonna punish him, right? You mean Ridesley. He's a tricky one to deal with. Hmm. It's unfortunate that Lenny's so eager to prove himself that he can't learn to rely on others, including me. Damn, so you really would have gone over to Rithesley? You would have gone over to Rithesley for them? That is actually surprising and interesting. By the way, and you can just consider this a bit of idle gossip. <laughs> idle What's gossip. Your Ooh. You are outside of our disputes, and the freest person in all of Fontaine, able to move around most easily. Allow me to share my perspective with you. Well, let's see if we came to the same conclusion, Father. And that's everything that happened during the trial. Master Child was declared guilty and immediately transported to the Fortress of Meropede. Well, goddamn. Hold on, I'm texting someone. One sec. Hold on, chat. Okay. Didn't he say he was coming here on vacation? Vacation! Does he not feel an ounce of shame for all the trouble he has caused? He sure should. Uh, I... Uh, I... Forget it. He did give us an opportunity. Ay, 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 ay. I will be meeting someone shortly. Hmm. Do you require help with any preparations? No, we're good. No need. I will take care of it myself. I need to meet with Farina, the Hydro Archon. She is at the heart of Fontaine. But what's fascinating about her is that she often seems more like a celebrity than a working Archon. Interesting. Sorry, I'm just actually really fascinated by the Fatui. I hope they're all as interesting as the Nave and Dottore. Dottore is like mean. The Nave, or, or like, not mean, he's evil. You know? Like, he's insidious. The Nave is manipulative, but intelligent in a different way. She's not what I expected, and I'm glad. Oh. Here, you little oh my! Sorry, I was not expecting that reaction of seeing her in that outfit. Go on. You dare to run from me? Stop right this instant! My goal is just to discover the location of the Gnosis. But I didn't expect the chance to approach Farina to be handed to me on a silver platter. This is so easy, it's actually making me a bit suspicious. God, she looks so... Anything left unguarded is usually just bait. But no one will blame someone for taking the bait. After all, from the moment it was attached to the hook, the bait is meant to Dude. be sacrificed. Dude, did she go to kill him? It's just as I guessed in the second before I struck. The Hydronosis is not currently held by the Wow. Archon. Yeah, In I mean, fact, we all suspected that. This Archon doesn't seem like a god at all. 
And I sense that she's under some kind of curse. Who are you? And, and what are you trying to do? Please don't kill me. I'm begging you. Please. Begging? Farina, you're begging for The fear in her pupils is genuine, so perhaps she's not bait after all. Either way, targeting her has lost all meaning. Farina! Hmm. I left the scene with ease. Nobody came looking for me, and nobody could serve as a witness to my near assassination of Fosalor. I suspect even Farina dares not mention this incident to anyone. So did she know? Did Farina know immediately that the Knave was the person that tried to kill her? Not long after, my informants confirmed what I had guessed. After returning to her quarters, Farina quietly cried alone. She was so scared that she could not sleep that night, nor could she even bring herself to eat her cake. Oh my god. There's no doubt that there's something wrong with her. I began to entertain the possibility that she is not the true Hydro Archon. Perhaps no, Nouvellette isn't. Nouvellette is actually the genuine article. No, Nouvellette is the Hydro Dragon. Uh, for those of you who want confirmation, his ascension. His max ascension, his max ascension line, he literally talked about the Hydro Dragon. I have and how he is that. The Gnosis. If the Nouvellette hypothesis is correct, he is probably in possession of it. Alternatively, it might have been hidden in a place that's hard for ordinary people to access. Maybe it... Bro, it might just... I might just be right in... Like, we might just be right, Chad, and it's... The Oratrice is the Gnosis. Yes, Father. God, what a pose. My dear children, please speak. News from the fortress of Meripeed. Master... Master Child has gone missing. On top of that, the contacts and guards we bribed at the fortress have all gone quiet as well. Interesting. Probably the handiwork of that Ridesley. True. I'm afraid so. This is a good opportunity. The value of a harbinger is much higher than most would imagine. We now have an excuse to exert diplomatic pressure on the Fontaine authorities. Set up a meeting for me. I would like to meet the Hydro Archon and Eudex Neuvillette. Oh, and I have an additional mission for you three. Yes, yes Father. Tartaglia's disappearance was not mm. a part of my plan, but I this can is so fascinating, to chat. breakthrough. With this as my excuse, I can ask for an official audience and continue my investigation of Farina and Eudex Neuvillette. The initiative belongs to the House of the Heart. Hey, what's up, Mitchell? My wish to investigate the Fortress of Meripede will be a front. Linny and his group will be responsible for the actual intelligence gathering. She's so intelligent. Holy shit. This game... This... Dude, Fontaine really is a game of fucking chess. And I love it. What the fuck just happened? You should know the rest. Linny's group is quite close to you. So they wouldn't have hidden anything from you. Damn. You, you attacked the Hydro Archon? <laughs> what Hydro Archon? Got him! <laughs> it wouldn't mean anything, even if you shouted it from the rooftops. After all, even Farina herself is still pretending that nothing of that sort ever happened. Uh, all right then. I've now had two chances to enjoy tea with Farina. I have to say, the leadership of Fontaine is even more inscrutable than I had imagined. I once surmised that Eudex Nouvellette must be the Hydro Archon, but now, that doesn't seem right to me either. I agree. How did you come to that conclusion? I am a servant of Her Majesty the Tsaritsa. Over my years of service, I've learned how a real Archon conducts and carries themselves. Mm. Whether Eudex Nouvellette or Farina, neither fits the bill. It's hard to imagine either of them as the Archon. Interesting. Of course, that is all just how I feel. Gut feelings often do not require justification. True. It is, however, quite amusing to me that after all my years working in intelligence gathering, I've come to realize I am at a complete loss regarding the identity of the god of the land of my birth. Don't you think Fontaine is quite intriguing? 
A catastrophe looms, yet many secrets have yet to rise to the surface. <sighs> it looks like Fontanians will have no choice but to save themselves. Hmm. Do we know how long the Oratrice has been around, chat? Hmm. Ultimately, though, one must survive in order to do anything else. Should the need arise, Since I would the be happy first to cooperate with you. You don't need to commit to anything right now, of course. I have a feeling that the situation will continue to... 500, evolve. assuming as 500 years. ...often connected with noble deeds. I'm sure we will work together someday. Someday! Presumably since Farina's ascension is Archon. So then the Oratrice is What are the chances? So we know So we technically know So we know the previous Hydro Archon died in in Sumeru, right? Because of the because of the water and then the tree was born, right? Like that's the thing that happened with a, a previous Hydro Archon. So hear me out on this bullshit made up theory that I just thought of. So we know how there's like the two elements in in uh in Fontaine. Like there are some characters that are efficient in one of these like fucking like things, like this yin and yang thing that I always forget the name of. Like it's the the yellow and then the purple lights. That is part of the puzzles and all this stuff, and depending on the vision and how it is in Fontaine. The Usia and Numa, yes. Um, what if, like, her soul was split? Like, is that possible? Like, we don't know if that's possible, but what if, like, it's only half the Gnosis or something, or half, like, her spirit is, like, gone? And what if, like, what if either the previous Archon, half of her is dead, and the other half is in the Oratrice, or when Farina was born, maybe she was like split in half or something, or like Farina is like secretly a twin or some bullshit. Uh, and that's why she has like those different eyes. And the body, she has the body of an Archon, like the body that she maintained the body, but the Gnosis rejected her. And they had to come up with, like, some sort of mechanism for the Gnosis to work. That's just a what? That's, like, the most outrageous theory I could think of. But I don't think, like, an incomplete Archon. Exactly. And maybe at the end of the Fontaine Archon quest, the Oratrice is destroyed. And then they come together. And then Farina is truly the action. That's when Farina... This is the most anime bullshit theory. That's when she becomes, like, the real Archon. Like, her full self. And she's able to stop the prophecy. So, I don't know. It's giving Soul Eater lore. <laughs> I mean, we'll see. Nouvellette? He certainly returned quickly. You must want to catch up with each other, so I'll leave you to him. Man, that streamer tagged him, all right, chat? Nouvellette? Is it over? For now, yes. But this issue will prove quite thorny in the long term. I'm concerned that sooner or later the prophesied events will occur. Thank you for protecting Farina. Maybe we ask, maybe we ask what happened down there? Hmm. To put it simply, I used my power to force back the Primordial Sea and reseal the Sluice Gate. As for what happened on our side... You recount the happenings of the Tea Party to Nouvellet. Hmm. So as expected, the Nave has turned up the pressure on Farina. She's trying to feel her out, though I'm still unsure as to her motives. Can I ask you some questions? Permission granted. You have enough power to force back the Primordial Sea. Does this mean you have some deeper connection with the Hydro Archon? Whoa. It can't be that you're 
you're the real Hydro Archon, right? But that's just no. A he's the Hydro the Dragon, world. you silly billies. <laughs> you can't tell us? Then, then that's okay. We can talk about something else. We won't try to force you. <laughs> you guys in Fontaine are super strange. He's like. I'm not the Hydro Archon. The Hydro Archon begged me to help because she didn't have a Gnosis. If by the phrase, you guys, you are referring to Farina and I, then although I'm not sure just what you are trying to imply, I must clarify that I do not share her positions on a multitude of topics. What did you sense in the Fortress of Miropide? Did you manage to protect those that needed to be defended? I believe so. The Fortress has a long and complex history. It has seen much grief and suffering. Hmm. And now, another catastrophe will soon be upon us. Oh. I mourn this turn of events. The rain! Huh? Why is it raining all of a sudden? The clear sky suddenly filled with dark clouds. The rain became heavier. And just moments before Nouvellet has just mentioned his sense of grief. Thinking back to that legend. Hey, we're calling him out! You can't be. You may be closer to the truth than you think. <laughs> yes, we are, you fucking bitch. <laughs> oh? And what are you thinking? He's the dragon sovereign of water. The dragon of... Uh, what? Someone in chat spoiled. Bro, I've been known. We went through those fucking ascension lines. I've been known. Huh? Please do not be so surprised. <laughs> I've, I've known since frame one. <laughs> Farina? Where's she going? Nuvalet! Nuvalet, are you listening? Ah, my apologies. We were just guessing randomly. We didn't guess right, did we? You're not actually the dr <sighs> You guessed correctly. I sincerely mm. hope you'll be able to keep this a secret for me. I'm so glad I was right! Right, of course. We'll definitely help you keep it a secret. There's... Still something Paimon wants to ask you, <laughs> Please, go ahead. Well, if you are the Dragon Sovereign of Water, and you are able to force <laughs> back the Primordial Sea from the fortress, then since Fontaine's prophecy is all about seawater, couldn't you just use your power to solve the crisis? You know... None of the currently living Dragon Sovereigns in the world, myself included, possess our full Dragonhood. Huh? They say that when the first usurper arrived on Tivat, they seized a part of the dragon's power. Today, that stolen power is the basis of the Archon's authorities. What? Oh, so these dragons fucking hate the Archons. Oh, they hate... Yo, fuck the Archons. There are seven elemental Archons and seven matching dragon sovereigns. The Dragon Sovereign of Water who lived through that era perished a long time ago. As their successor, I know far less of that part of our ancient history. In any case, I believe I will not be able to do much unless the Archon disappears and returns their elemental authority to me. Oh, shit. Given the status quo, however, I would recommend finding another way to deal with the prophecy. Would we ever actually see an Archon die to save their people? You don't think Farina's gonna... Bro. Farina wouldn't end her life just so you could have the power and then... Oh, so even you can't solve it. Bro. I still have some urgent matters to attend to at my office. That couldn't have been if the most foreshadowing shit. History, you are welcome to discuss them with me at a later time. Ah, uh, please go right ahead. There's a place that Paimon wants to go to. Traveler, why don't we pay another oh, visit brother. to the Fortress of Meripede? Paimon is a little worried. Fine, see you later. We'll see you another time. Take care. Bro, that would be wild. How much more of this quest is there? Hey, not to raid with the 90 viewers. Thank you so much, raiders. Five minutes? All right. Five minutes! Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? What? Are you 
fucking kidding me? Wait. What quest is that? What? What quest is that? I... Hey Saiu, how many licks does it take to get hey, the Saiu, center of a tootsie pop? Oh no! To get the center of a tootsie pop? Three. And I'm gonna end my life. In the game. I do try to lighten the mood sometimes. Surely if I do this one bit, it'll fix it, right? Good show. The sunshine will eventually illuminate every hidden corner. Sorry, let me pull out this other dragon. Stabilize. Sorry, this wannabe dragon. Not a real dragon, Zhongli. Alright, skip, skip, skip. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. Shut the hell up, shut the hell up, shut the hell up, shut the hell up. Shut, the, shut, 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 shut your mouth, shut your mouth, shut your mouth, shut your mouth. Speed run. I don't care. Can we please? Hello? Hello? Can you- can you please? Thank you for the raid, by the way. Uh, I- I just- I just- Let me see the fucking ending, man. Let me see the ending! Please! I don't care about your camera and your photos! You have got to be- Okay, thank god. Wee! Wait, you're gonna make me you're, my, you're gonna make me go to all of these different locations That's fine Chad, if you don't understand why I'm like this I am starving and I want to eat my goddamn food My food is waiting for me downstairs <sighs> Too slow Following me. It's quick, I swear. Oh, it better be. Swan Fury. Damn, y'all are still here? Hey. Now guess, what suit will this next card be? The Queen. Because I've arrived. I'm your mother now. Your father calls me mommy. Uh, a well, well, look who it is. Traveler, Paimon. Oh. Hello, everyone. Looks like you're recovering nicely, Fremine. Mm-hmm. Thanks to everyone's support. Wait, you guys didn't like my bit? Oh, right. I... I managed to work up the courage to thank Miss Clorand in person. Whoa, how did she react? Uh... She told me that it was nothing. It was as if saving a life wasn't a big deal to her at all. She also told me not to worry about it. Why is his bed so big? She didn't want to stress you out. Cause that's a that's twin all. XL, dog. She's Relax. Right. And it's best not to dwell on it. Yeah. Okay, but check this out. We went back to the opera house and we met the knave. Yep. I'm Isn't that father. I'm your mother now. Did she say anything to you? She said a few things that were uh a bit hard to understand, and also that she's looking forward to working with us in the. Future. It was a little surprising. Her attitude towards you is even better than what we'd imagined. <laughs> That's fantastic. You should believe her. She has her own way of doing things, and she'll do everything in her power to help those she considers close, which now might also include you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Father is very capable and also trustworthy. I don't know. They're for Tui Harbinger. remembered that she thought Linny was a bit too proud as well. She said that you should learn how to rely on others sometimes. Damn. Uh, got it. <sighs> That does sound like something that father would say. And hey. she did. Are you going to stay here for the next few days? Uh, no. Like it, yeah. Huh? Don't. I will host a tea party. We just had our fill. The Pima wants another serving of cake. Another implies that you were already served some delicious cake while you were hmm. out there. Hmm. How lovely. Well, Must next be nice. time, you're going to have tea and snacks with us. You have tea and snacks with Linnea and Lunar and Fremner. We should start preparing that teapot. Oh, 
That's a great idea. I'll help you set it up. I know if I didn't talk to them, chat was going to be like, go back to the room, talk to them. You fucked up. What's wrong with you? I know how you are, chat. I know. I know how you are, chat. I knew exactly how you'd be. Well, 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 if it isn't our little siege win. Siege win! Traveler, Paimon, you're back. Are you still doing all right? Did either of you get hurt? Don't worry, we're both doing great. We're fine, but what about you guys? It was such a huge mess. How bad was it? A few people sustained superficial injuries. Superficial, so huh? The extent of the damage. Monsieur Nervulet paid us a visit. It was all thanks to him that we managed to suppress the crisis for Hell the time yeah. being. Oh, of course. We must also thank you for the help you provided. How did Nervulet know that he was needed here? Monsieur Nervulet has strong resonance with the hydro element. When the water level rises, he can feel the waves produced. I ran into the bombshell bros while bandaging the injuries Man. of the wounded. I want to know more about Farina. I want to know more about the Hydro Archon. So we solved one mystery with the Hydro Dragon. If you're not too now we just need to solve the other one, chat. Stay with us if We've only got half the puzzle. Just let me know if you get We've only solved half the puzzle. Dish, so I can have Mr. Wolsey get your meals prepared. Oh, and please feel free to visit the infirmary for a break at any time. I'd like to take the opportunity to spend some more time observe. Sorry, didn't mean to cut you off. I'm starving. Behold. There are many see. Well, if I go over there, I'll talk to Quit following it's Claire Rand over here. Oh, it's the bomb, bro! Hey, hey it's the my guys. What's good, Baba Ganoush? What's good? That, you, you guys are back. That's right, we're back. So, you guys didn't get caught and thrown. The back boys, down here, right? baby, the boys. What? Ah, and here I thought you'd managed to escape from jail during all the commotion. I'd held you up as legendary jailbreakers, but now you're telling me you just never left? No, we came back. Uh, <laughs> we're sorry, but we just had some business to take care of. All right, all right. There's no need to get caught up in the details. We're just relieved to see. Hey, it wasn't just me. Weren't yeah, we was worried well. about you. You know, something that would be absolutely uh, wild like that, that on top yeah. of using the Gnosis to steal the Sovereign the powers, but also the Traveler's powers. The carrots. Are those two all what right? are you he referring to? Alive. Oh. I tell them I'm sure they're fine. Wherever oh. they are, they're kicking back with drinks in hand, enjoying the lovely scene. You know, normally I would think you're a little crazy. But we technically don't get our power until we touch a statue of the seven. Hmm. Hmm. I'd entertain the idea. Hey, there's nothing wrong with worrying about your prison pals, is there? I mean, considering how they always love listening to all my gossip. These two. They sure are a lot warmer and friendlier than when Paimon first met them. Your meals will bring all the prisoners to the cafeterias. Oh, well, if you say so. I'll be watching you. Every last bite. That's what I'm going to be doing right after this. Finishing every last bite. That's me. Squall and Fury. Prison pals before get... Whoa, what? I never agreed to that. The fuck? I never agreed to that. Huh, too slow. What? Not Ridesley or Clorand? Talking to these bozos? You guys making out down here? Carrier? Miss Sijuin told me you still haven't eaten. Oh, brother, yeah, here we go. I was working on something, so I forgot. Am I Mandark? Fuck. Uh, that's no excuse for... Huh? It's you two. Yeah. Junior, Lurveen, we're back! You guys making out? Hello there. It's been quite the mess here recently. We're fine, thanks. Even. And you, are you still taking the secret passageway from the infirmary to work on the ship? Yep. That is still top secret, though. 
So don't say a word to any- It can be a bit annoying when there are lots of people in the infirmary, but I still prefer taking that route over the one from the Duke's office. Why do you prefer I that mean, one? the infirmary does make it easier for you to slack off. Damn! Oh yeah? Then why are you also here so much? Because you can't stop gazing into your eyes. You're just using your jobs as a cover for your relationship, aren't you? Yep. Not at all! We get it, bro. It's fine. Just make out. Oh, that's why. Quit following me. If I talk to you fuckers, the wind they almost got wind of us. Jurier, the rumors about us are literally everywhere now. Please do something about it. But it's not like I caused them by myself. All right, all right. I'll try to do something about it when I can find the time. This guy said it's like, look, you just keep putting your hands on me. I can't help it if people are fucking... following me fine i'll follow sino well 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 hello there ridesley ridesley did my eyes deceive me or did i just see two inmates come back after making it to the surface some strange winds blowing of late we more like some strange waters working. brewing still all right? we're fine for the most part nervalette came down and took care of the worst of it hell yeah if that's the case why don't you just ask him to stay here oh yeah what a brilliant plan Let's go convince the Udex himself to exchange the Quartz of Fontaine for a puddle of water in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. He came here in a hurry and left without even stopping for a cup of tea. He did remember to take Miss Sijuin's gift with him, though. He sure sounds super busy. I mean, yes. Miss Cloran has left as well. She also took her gift from Miss Sijuin. Were the gifts milkshakes? Nervalette got the milkshake. Cloran received lipstick instead. Hmm. Uh Kind of sexist well, if you really think about it. own fault for making Sijuin worried about his health by working so much. But besides that, our head nurse is still pretty fond of picking out beauty products for the ladies. Oh, and I have some gifts here for you as well. Are these from Sijuin too? Nope. They're from yours truly. Hey. You've already wrapped up your work. At Handcuffs? Surface, so you Why would you get... surface at any time. You Sir? haven't yet served your full prison term, however, so you may continue to use your cell until your term is up. Why did you give me a handcuff? Real? Then we could stay here for a really long time? Is food still covered? You may access the cafeteria for free. Hooray! Just remember to come complete your paperwork once it's time for your release. Hey. Wait, I have to go back. Bro, I'm gonna lose my goddamn fucking mind. You're gonna make me go back to sleep in this worthless piece of shit prison? I have a teapot. If I don't have a dream about child fucking being alive, um, then this ending better be something good. Also, uh, I realized how that sounded. If I don't have a dream about child fucking, if I stopped there, that would have been really bad. <laughs> We're back in our cell again. We're no longer prisoners, though, so it really doesn't feel the same. Feels like we've regained our freedom. Hmm. Paimon, is there something you'd like to say? Huh? How did you know? Because you usually just immediately fall asleep. Hey, that's not true. All right. Okay, Paimon just wanted to say that we really are an amazing duo after all. We? It's like we've now gone to so many places together and become friends with so many people. We've never stopped traveling or stopped meeting new friends. Look, Paimon, I know you're going to betray me in the end. In the world, and we're just two people, but... We've still been solving problems no matter where we go. Isn't mm. that pretty cool? I get it, Paimon. You're going to betray me. You're going to be my Judas. It's fine. You're counting Paimon today? Aren't you the only adventurer here? Being a god counts too. Oh, we got to give her something. Then let's ask Haruka. Haruka. An adventurer handbook as well. Well, well, well. well. An adventurer from today forward. It's a great game. Like, honestly, if you're caught up on... If you're about to start Fontaine, like, if you're caught up with Sumeru, and you have to... And, Fa dude, Fontaine, the story is great. The slowest part of the story is probably Act 3, but everything else is great. You need to do Sumeru? Good luck. Sumeru's story is also good, but the, uh, the Fontaine one picks up almost immediately. 
Damn. Got to encounter my character? Damn. Good luck. Ah, I just got thoughts making Paimon giddy. Ah. Well, I'm glad. Let me know, uh, let me know your experience when you get to him. You sleep soon, too. The last time we fell asleep here, we woke up to a whole mess outside ourselves. The primordial the sea, primordial bro. nearly rose up. That was so scary. Oh! We should be safe now, right? I didn't tell you, Harka. I started uh, Baldur's Gate. I started Baldur's Gate 3. I, uh... I need to get back into it. I only have five hours in. And I'm a Dragonborn uh, Paladin uh, Dark Urge. I'm at the Goblin Camp right now. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I just haven't had time to play it. Like, to continue playing it, I mean. Uh, but yeah. We'll be fine, so don't worry, Paimon. Alright then. Good night to you, Traveler. Good night to you, Paimon. Child. And good night to you, Traveler. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> Alright. It better be worth it. What's this? Yes! Call me that so Raven. Oh. <gasps> He's in the primordial sea. Child! Wake up! What is that? Is that? I can't tell if that's a whale or if... Wait. Wait. Wait, wait. The dragon. Now hear me out, fellas. This is gonna sound weird. My mom. Could? If that is the dragon, if that is the hydro dragon, could the primordial sea literally be primordial? Like, what if the Primordial Sea is, like, a gateway to, like, the past? There's no such thing as pure freedom in this world. Shut up, Scar! It's the whale child told us about? Like, time travel shit? Like, I mean, maybe. Something while sealing the sea? Isn't Nouvellet the Hydro Dragon? Right, which is why I'm like, if that whale is the... If that whale is, like a dragon that wouldn't make sense you get what i mean it's the whale that child saw once that still doesn't it still doesn't like you know i think it's just an abyssal creature bro it'd be crazy if we got a different unit of child and and he uh he has like a completely different kit I mean, they've done it for Star Rail. Wouldn't be surprised if they did it for Genshin. A different model like Scar? Well, no. No, 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 no. It's not the same. The reason why I say it like that is because... So far in our entire roster of characters, no character is the same. There's no, like, dupe, but a different version. There have been costumes, and yes, Scaramouche has had, you know, like, I mean, he's Animo now rather than Electro. Yes. But I mean, like, have both a Hydro Tartaglia, wherever the hell he is, uh, have Hydro him, but then have a separate unit that is the new version of Child. I don't know. I am fascinated. That is not where I expected Child to be. He's in the Primordial Sea. Wow. Like Don Hung and then Bibber Lune. Exactly. Adulte, shut up. Well, that's it. We did it. That's Genshin. I did not expect to stream four hours. I honestly expected to stream for like two. Now, before we end the stream, I haven't forgotten.